Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. We are back. We are here. This is a current pod. We are so excited to have you. One of our very special voluptuous guests we're having on the bus today goes by many, many, many nicknames. He established by his smooth charisma, but he is known in the locker room as the stallion because that boy is fierce, strong, and can gallop like the wind, baby. Put your hands together for Roger Saffel. Let's go, boys. Yeah, Happy to have you on the bus. The last time he was really around each other, there, were, um, there was a lot of violence. Yeah, but did you realize it was me? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know it was you. But it's been the most painful loss. But that AFC Championship game, and man, it was sickening. I mean, for me and Roger, we know we can do some cool shit together. Uh, and some of the things you do outside of football is you own your own gaming company. See, you know, like the lawyer of the owner just like comes into the room with my agents in there and he's like, yo, no deal. We're failing him on his physical. Are we rolling? Start it. How close do you want me to get to it? You want to know. And action. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. We are back. We are here. This is a current pod. We are so excited to have you. One of our very special uh, voluptuous guests we're having on the bus today goes by many, many, many nicknames. He established by his smooth charisma uh, back in the day as Big Smooth. I like to call him Red Velvet because you know when that boy gets a sweat on, he has a nice little red tinge to him. But he is known in the locker room as the stallion because that boy is fierce, strong, and can gallop like the wind, baby. Please welcome. Please put your hands together. Even if you're at home just watching or listening, put your hands together for Roger Saffel. Let's go, boys. Yeah, Happy to have you on the bus. Too, you too, Appreciate right? you guys. Which is, a per- you guys. which is a perfect segue. It's a perfect segue into everything because on this bus, we care about durability. Mm. We care about reliability. Mm. We care about the man who gets up every day, puts his lunch pail and his hard hat on, and rips over to his work. He's always on time. He's always willing to do it. And Roger Saffel is just like that. But you know what, else is also, what is also like that is the Chevrolet. Specifically the Silverado, <laughs> but all things, all things. You can do so many things with the Chevrolet. It's strong, advanced, dependable, and hardworking, just like my man to the right. The Silverado is dependable because why? Because we get redundant on this thing. It's a little bit redundant. We, it's uh, dependable uh, to the people who drive, like the people who drive them. Sorry, now I'm reading, and so you know how it goes when the boy's reading. Uh, the design is big, bold, commanding. The truck That's turns head. Problem. We've talked about a kink, dude. So we did some individual the other day. Luke Stalker hit me and gave me a kink in the neck, dude. And I was like, holy Silverado. You know what I'm saying? He hit me, and my neck flew back. I go, what? A, that was a Silverado and a half of a kink, dude. That was a bit of a deal. So many things. So many things you can do. With the Silverado, Will, tell me what you can do with the Silverado. From tailgating, hauling, towing, off-roading, moving day. Speaking of moving day, Garrett, he needed to move a bed the other week, right? He, he called the boy up. He asked him, hey, can you help out your friend or family member? I was like, I got you, man. I don't want to be a part of it, but you can go ahead and do mm. it. He came over. I threw him the keys. He took my Chevy. He moved his bed. He road tripped. He had a blast. Go to a Chevy dealership near you. Tell him the boy sent you. If you let Chevy Silverado know that the boy sent you. All right. We can't make any promises, but they're gonna they're gonna hook you up. They're gonna help you out. They're gonna be excited gonna be that happy. you came. <laughs> like there's not there's gonna be like a, not like a discount, but there'll be like a there'll be more like morale. You know, somebody what I'm got a trailer hitch. Mm. Someone did get a, a trailer hitch. Trailer hitch for so free. they've set the tone. Whatever Chevy dealership that was set the tone. You can go to any Chevy dealership. Me personally, I'm a big fan of Freeland Chevrolet. The boys personally. They, the boys are personally huge fans of Freeland Chevrolet. Yeah. I don't know if we got you guys can't see what's cooking in the back because we don't allow you to see what's cooking in the back. But what's cooking in the back is a couple of vehicles that are pristine, beautiful, durable, reliable, and hardworking. When I go to camp, <laughs> sometimes I'm a little tired, and I go, you know what? I look at my Chevrolet. You look out I in that think, parking lot. I look out in that parking lot and I go, of all these things, if you had to pick out the hardest worker here, and I point at my own truck and I think I say, thank you, Freeland. Yeah. Thank you, Freeland Chevrolet. Yeah. It's outstanding. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Did you see the new sign we got? I did see the new sign. Rog, what do you think of the sign? You haven't said a sign, word yet. The sign is actually pretty good. <laughs> you I'm like it? To you. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I couldn't see it at first behind Will, but now I can see it and it's it's glorious. Will's a big cat. Yeah. You're a big dude. Can I say something? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm excited to have you back. Dude, I'm excited to be like back. You just did a thing like it's been like a standard. You've been in it every week, but you haven't been here in a, in a minute. It's been five weeks. That's what I'm saying. I know. And it's good to have both of you guys. I get to watch you from afar. I get you guys, you guys work in your tandems on old Buck Rising, post a little video, you guys practice, yeah. and I get to see you guys. Bitch ass buck. Only Double right. teaming Little Keith marbles ass in the throat it's buck. Only right, man. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, did you guys, I, I saw you guys did the, the Buck Rising podcast the other day. I didn't watch it because, um, 
<laughs> you know, that's low hanging fruit having Buck on the pot. It's I like, know, we were down hey, it's like, hey, we, we need a filler. Bad. We need yeah. a filler. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you get the guy in the back that barely knows how to play the piano. Like, all right, just go out there on stage and see what you can do. You know? Uh, so I don't know how it went. The boys told me it went well. Did you comment on Buck's weight at all? Did yes, you comment on him, his thickness? I, I asked him straight up, how's your weight loss going? Ooh, and did you give him like a... Uh, oh, he tried... What, what What was he saying? He says he only eats bad at what, the football games? I said, yeah, I can tell. How many football games do you go to? You know what I'm saying? He's going to Wednesday night freshman games. He's going to the JV games on Thursday night. He takes home the to-go boxes? Yeah. Oh, I guess if no one's going to eat it. You know, like he's yeah. doing them a favor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like you trying to Im impersonate it's, Buck, Well, right? it's more like, well, yeah, I can't even... <laughs> I oh, I guess if I... You know, I can't do it. I don't, Roger, I don't have the marbles in my mouth. I don't have that. <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. Egyptian dude he is you know he's Egyptian what I, I'm not surprised he looks Egyptian Hold right yeah. he's very okay. exotic yeah no no he told me he's Egyptian is that like Persian His dad was I would I would say you're generalizing so, I don't so know if that's he, very PC he was like he did 23 and me and it was like the one person I'll fall back less no. than one percent Egyptian. he's got a nice little uh little tint to him yeah <laughs> I guess so you know what I'm saying yeah. like you got a nice vibrant tint to you I would have thought that he was like Greek or something like he has a little bit of a tab but he's not Egyptian I don't, I don't know I, I yeah don't buy it I don't see that man making a pyramid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, hit me with the Persian PC thing, so anything that's being said, no. Once you get across the Atlantic Ocean, yeah. I don't really want to mess with it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you don't want to mess with it? He Spo said Greek, spoken like, like a true American. Yeah. <laughs> All that shit over there, dude, I don't really want to fuck with it, dude. I don't really, I don't really want to mess with that yeah. thing. No I'm just doubt. just trying to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying you know? to be honest. You yeah. said Greek, and I was like, yeah, yeah I don't know. I'm, I'm bowing out since. <laughs> yeah. How's it? Let me ask you guys a question. How's it feel? You two sitting next to each other, and really, like the last time you guys were really around each other, there were um, there was a lot of violence. No, what do you? There was a lot of. Hang on, hold did hold your on. ACL really mess you up hold that bad? I was yeah. on the entire. I was we on the entire. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I knew when yeah. I when we I was out. after we when lost I was our, here after when we I was uh, when. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. When I was here, <laughs> you got it. When I was there, I saw every time like you guys would see each other, you'd walk away. Roger was, was fine. You know what I'm saying? That's like weird because we had a long season together. Yes. After we lost the playoff game, I held him in. I held him in my arms. What, what was that? What are you holding there? I'm holding him. <laughs> he was holding my arms. Yeah, yeah. my arms. What are you holding there? A tear. <laughs> but That's I know what you're deal. referring to when he almost threw me in the bleachers when I played for Oakland. the Raiders game. He did to you what I wanted to do to you. First play of the game. <laughs> Oof. Hey, I, that's a I, toughie. I, I promise you, I have not felt, uh, other than Richie Incognito, you guys are the heaviest hands I've ever felt. That man got some heavy Richie, hands. Richie is heavy everywhere. He's like a lesser, yes. uh, I would say you two are very similar. Oh, yeah. But mm. you're more, like, you You got more, like, about yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Black? Is yeah. that what you're trying to no, he's like more, no. like, rocked no, up. That's crazy. He's more no, rocked no. up. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm Richie, saying? Richie's that's more, crazy. Like, he's like, he's he looks like Dwayne The Rock Johnson if he didn't take all the needle stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think he's bigger than Dwayne the Rock. Johnson. No, but I'm saying he like he you know, is cut, but he's still got the he's a stacked ass cat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dude, and and, and is... like nobody pumps up Roger more than Roger. Like Roger, lo like Roger oh, knows. Listen, listen, Roger hold knows who the fuck he is. Oh, you know the back knows who he is. Also, on, another nickname is the back. Hold the hell on. Okay? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Now, he I know is, we should let we should. He is right. Most of my finds are from talking about myself. They're actually called self sucks. Yeah, my man. He's like, he will be sitting there and be like, wait, fines, what are you talking about? Fines? Hey, we'll be in a, we'll be like watching film and practice, be like, fucking laid this guy out right here and just kind of lean in. And it's like, <laughs> we'll sit each other meetings and like, look how fucking fast I am. Man, huh? <laughs> like, man. say shit like that. I'm like, damn. Jeez, I mean, but man. I look at him like, you know, ding, ding, that is a fine. He's like me on Rocket League. Used to life, man. Recognition's never <laughs> been big. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, what's I got a fine? You. you get fined when you talk yeah, about yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all for a good cause. Yeah. You get fined with the O line? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because we do the trip at the end of the year. Right, I know. But uh, you saying I get fined. Like, it's not like it's just across the board, across the league. Like, you get fined if you talk about it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I think. Nothing like that. <laughs> where, uh, well, when you were in L.A. Yeah. Was there a big fine system there? Oh, yeah. I'm sure Witt took care of that, huh? No, it was actually John Sullivan. And really? And he had the most hilarious. He had uh, uh, the, the, the card. The card terrace. What's a card terrace? Anybody who was doing, like, like tarot uh, cards? scout team. Yeah, Everybody who was doing scout team and was just like messing up the entire offensive play by not doing anything that the card said. Yeah, yeah, man. We've, you're we've, known as a uh, you're known as a terrorist. Yeah, you're known as like a card a terrorist. terrorist. A card terrorist. Oh, I thought you were saying card tarot, like a tarot card, like nah, a tarot card, like where you're like, like a I'm with a gypsy in a room like and she's reading my you're palm. Messing up practice That's what on you purpose. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, beautiful mind. <laughs> yeah. This thing will this thing will go anywhere. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, it, we had we had nicknames for people. It was great. Now, I'm not gonna put nobody out there like that, but it was some good ones out Just there. Just put one person out no, there. No, like I'm this. not putting anybody out there. I like how I like how you <laughs> gave us a little something. Yeah, absolutely. Give us a little something with that. Absolutely, because they may not have 
You know, they might have German last names. Oh, well, hey. That's not very PC. Closer, hey, that is not closer. very yeah, PC. Let's get it. Let's <laughs> yeah, go, man. Let's go, man. But yeah, back to uh, back to when you, you, you know, you knocked me over. Did you realize it was me? <laughs> honestly, honestly, I did know it was you. Uh, and and just it was went, just a straight line straight to you, man. There was just no fair dodge, and you didn't move out of the way. You didn't see me coming. It was just like, just... I, 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 hang on, I want to go back to what he just said. I didn't see him coming. I want you, hey, I want that to be on you tape. Looking, no, but I really think, how, how do you not I, see I, him I, coming? I, definitely I, looking for I, You were stacked right on top of him. I ain't had both feet in the ground, and I didn't see him coming. Why? So of course running. I looked like What do you mean you have both feet in the ground? <laughs> I'm saying if I saw him coming, and I had both feet in the ground, like, it's probably looking the other way. It was pretty Like, I'm probably... Oh, you you the clean Roger. I'm the clean Roger. Bro, no, listen... Dog, I swear. Oh, hey, no, hey. <laughs> okay. Like, right, okay. He's like, hey, let's go right, right out right. here. He just protected you a little bit. Bro, and then you, you took it. You took I was thing. in the air. I like I knew I was in the air. It's like everything slowed down. And right when I hit the ground, it was everything all right. Are we getting robbed? <laughs> <laughs> it is close to spooked over. Oh, 28 days, boys. 28 days? Yeah, 28 days away from Spooktober. Something just cracked outside. The Michael Myers mask fell off. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, no. It's is that a real thing? It's up. It's up. It's up. Tommy, take it easy. What fell? I don't know. Do you want me to go look? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I got my back to the thing. I got my back to the, You guys can see everything. I'm first one dead. Stuff just got hung up. So oh, you're well, not the first one dead. dead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm the second one dead. You know, you know how that shit works. Well, you know how that no. shit works in a movie. I didn't I didn't write cinematic history. But, yeah. Hey, yeah, let's all you, hey, let's all split up. Taisha, Roger, you guys yeah, go that yeah. way. Yeah, you guys go with Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we going to stay together? Yeah, you, you know why. trying to save your ass. <laughs> Sometimes it's just for no reason. For no reason at all. When do you feel like that started to change? Like when when do we feel like that started to shift where, where uh, the black people didn't get first? It was it was weird. There first. was like the late nineties, early two thousands where like we started getting killed second. I was like, ah, they started to realize. They're trying to say face. Yeah, <laughs> That's their way of saying say sorry. Face. That's their way of saying, hey, listen, second. we fucked up. Yeah. You know like what I'm saying? Pothead, the black guy, and then everybody else. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty standard how it goes, yeah. Pothead's got to go yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah. like when you watch the movies and the black guy doesn't die first, or second, you're like sitting here, like, when are they going to kill a black guy? Yeah, that happened for me with Halloween. What was it? Halloween. Uh, Probably. Hey, a, why are you guys reacting like that back there? This is just this Halloween is a conversation. Or whatever. We're, we're gonna get our ass Busta canceled, bro. Yeah, we're, we're Busta Rhymes like survives the whole. Film. Oh, like, he's yeah. As H two O. Yeah, H two O. H two O. Hey, listen, you guys need a little deal. I got your back on bro. that. I mean, he's out, and plus he could do like karate and stuff. I'm like, man, how the hell is this possible? Yeah, that's a fucking listen. I don't know, because you know, usually you were about to tell a story. That no, I like, like I, I you, you, like it's tough. I know I would probably die in the horror movie. Jocks always die. Yeah, or the potheads. Yeah, either way, my ass is or, out. Of or here. if you have sex, it's over. For if me. you have sex, you're done. We yeah, actually have a whole thing of this on Spooktober, which I'm assuming you listen to because you're a great teammate and great friend. But um, yeah, usually if you have sex. It's always the virgin girl that makes it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, who's like interested, but never to- always toes the line, but never steps over. Mm. Right, keep her interesting enough. But at the end of the day, she's uh she she makes it, and everybody else dies. So you got twenty eight days to come up with your next like intro, because the last intro was. Oh, you like the intro? I love. Oh, the it. Halloween the Halloween yes. intro. I tell you what, that, that intro's was, got that some hype wonderful. now. There's been a few comments out there. Right. That's right. Do you feel I, a little more pressure now that even he just said that? No, uh, like I like to think of myself as a, like a, a more talented Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Like I got one shot, you know, I'm not going to miss my chance to blow. <laughs> this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Honestly, you know? just do the same thing. Just find another movie and then put your little twist on it. You're good to go. So you enjoyed that? Yeah. It's always nice to hear that from a friend. Oh, how to survive a horror movie. Here it is. Oh. I can't read that far. It's real <laughs> tiny font. You, you can't read that? You can't. Don't be in the front of the back. Yep, gotta stay in if the middle. If you hear a noise, don't investigate. Yep, just get uh, the fuck out of there. If you're videoing with a camcorder, it's game over, you're Done. gonna die. If you have sex, do drugs and or drink, you're dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if your dad is a cop, dead. Mm-hmm. If you're an athlete, dead. <laughs> Never assume the killer is dead, because he ain't dead. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a virgin, you live. So, a lot of 14-year-olds out there gotta make some decisions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of kids out there right now gotta make some decisions. If you wanna live in a horror movie... Don't have sex. Yeah. Let's you know not get saying? too much into Spooktober. We, you know. Yeah, we're 28 days away. Yeah. I understand. Can I just make one more point? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, now the new Halloween. Yeah. How Halloween the, how kills? The hell? How, well, how the hell? Does he hang live? On, hang on, hang on. What? You know what I'm saying? I mean, the, the new Halloween is obviously going to be coming out this year. Uh, October 15th. Yes, but last year, I'm like, oh, this dude's he, he's fucking done. Mm. What oh, the, you're saying how the hell does he live? The yeah, one we like saw it was two, like two three years like ago. He's flame resistant. He can't he can't get hit by any bullets. He can't be stabbed. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's Mike Myers. He's it's Mike Myers. 
Oh, that's not that's a uh, Warhees. What's he got? Armored well, in the Oregon first movie? in the first movie, um, what's her name unloads a whole six shooter on him. Yeah, right in the chest. <laughs> yeah. Falls out of a two story window, and then checks and he's gone. Do you want him to die? <laughs> nah, I like the movies, man. You like inclusions? You love, want a little bit of inclusion? So allegedly, I think you told me this that there's Halloween. This right now, Halloween, Halloween Kills is the one coming out this year, and yes. there's a, the the third one. There's 15 of these damn things, but yes. the third one is Halloween Ends. Yeah, you said next that? year's Halloween Ends, so next oh, year's wow. gonna be the final one. Oh wow! Yeah, love that. Isn't that wild? Well, James actually, Carpenter, the, the he's the original director of the Halloween movies. Yeah, he did the first one, and he hasn't really. I don't think he put his name on any other of those Halloween movies until that one that came out. You were talking about where he's playing resistant. We should yeah. see and if this he, one if he, comes on the, if he wants to like zoom in on the pot or something. That'd be outstanding to have him on there. We're trying. Uh, we we dropped the name uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. We're trying to get her on. Yeah, she would be outstanding. She's yeah. like the Queen of Scream. What do they call her? She was. Uh, there you go. Al- Alex just looked at me and goes. Like he's not going to be able to pull that one from the hip. You know, the I was really hoping I was looking for you. Why, why, I was sending my olive branch out there and hoping to get pulled in. Scream, am I right? Just looks back there. I mean, she's the, what do you mean? Queen of scream. I think she, when she did Halloween, she started getting a lot of horror movies and she got like a, like a title, not a title, but it was like when you're typecast, like her typecast was horror movies. Oh, and kind so of like she, Liam Neeson, you want to, you want to, yeah, you want a nice, right. Like, Everything uh, to him is movie. taken in a yeah. different way, you know. I will find you. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty decent, dude. That's yeah, a nice little decent. Nice. That was pretty good. But uh, yeah, she she got that for a little bit. I think she was in some other movies, though. I actually know she was in some other movies. Yeah, she'd be awesome. I was actually on the Rich Eisen show today, Weird Flex. Oh, nice. And um, did you shout out the boys? Oh, hardcore. We had like a whole four minute segment on busting with did. the boys. He did. He was trying to slander us last time we we encountered it. Well, Eisen. he was trying to slander you. <laughs> yeah, he, he but. This time when he introed me, he started with the football stuff and then he went to podcast, ho- co host podcast with Will Compton. So he's kind of ditched the whole, it's just Taylor's podcast thing. He's really dived into Will Compton. But wasn't Compton. that your idea? Like, let's just clear the air. He started it. I re- he <laughs> started it, him, tried like, to go back, and I really brought it home. Yeah. So yeah, we were both in cahoots. Yeah, you're like, hey, never say his name. Yeah. And he, he broke that promise to me today. Yeah. But we were talking. He's like, tell us about Bust with the Boys. And I was like, you know, let's soak this in for a second. Who would have thought we'd become as big as we are? Like I was really, I was like 93 octane. I was gassing us up, dude, the proud whole time dad. on the, yeah. Proud dad, very proud dad. Yeah. Nice pull. And uh, he's like, if you had a bucket list of guys you want on, who would it be? First thing that come to mouth is also the, is, is the OG Joe Rogan. Like you'd love to have Joe Rogan in the podcast. Yeah. But another one I pulled out of the back pocket, personal hero of mine, Johnny Knoxville. Oh, that would be a banger. So Rich says to me, Man. I can't help you with Joe Rogan but I can help you guys get Johnny Knoxville on the bus. Bro. And I go, you're lying. Like I just, you're lying. This if you see we're in a lie detector test, that thing would be waving back and forth. Yeah. And he goes, no, our kids go to the same school. Like I've been on calls with him and stuff like that. And I, look at you, your eyes are lighting up. Look I at, I, was, I, I, like I hope you zoomed out. Together, I know. Like we're like glistening. Up. We're glistening together. Go so uh, <laughs> Johnny Knoxville might come on the podcast. Would be pretty fucking dope. That would be sick. And it's yeah. perfect timing too, because new jackass is coming. I can't wait to see when that. When is that coming out? Um, November? Is it November? Why? Because oh, yeah, no, Bam? What? That's because of Bam that Margera? Time. That no, means we got time. Good. Yeah. Because they'll be going on PR rounds and stuff like that. And if he yeah. wants he wants real PR, he's got to come on Bustin' with the Boys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, that would be awesome. We're the hottest podcast of all time. God, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Speaking of thirsty. Oh, tell me. Have you heard of Revitalite? Is that what it's called? Yeah. I love how I smacked that, dude. First try. Revitalite. Smack that thing. Shout out Revitalite. No free shout outs. No free shout outs. Pick up your Revitalite black label today in store or online at the Barcel store and tweet us or tag at Drink Revitalite in your morning after stories. Uh, you've heard me talk about Re- Revitalite a lot by now. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. You right. know the drill. We learned the name it of the day. It is the adult version of a certain drink <laughs> you find in the baby aisle. They took away the embarrassment we meet at the register by putting their brand in places where you can buy beer, wine, liquor across the nation to make your weekend shopping even easier. And you can get it on the Barstool store right now. Uh, the guys at Revitalite are talking are taking things to the next level and teamed up with us to create the <laughs> ultimate way to save yourself a rough morning after. Uh, Revitalite Black Label. <laughs> Hold on, pause. Hang on, somebody's got to look at <laughs> Don't say that. Hey, hey, don't don't, don't say do that. that shit. Don't, do that. don't say that shit. Bleep that right out. Hey, bleep that out. Just bleep out the word. Don't bleep it out. Let everybody know what Will really is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That one hit you. Yeah. Huh? Revitalite Black Label. Black, okay. Yes. Made specifically with Stoolies in mind for maximum recovery. African-American. Perfect, Finally. Uh, 
compliment for when life gets a little rough and rowdy. Don't pay for Saturday nights on Sunday morning. Revitalite Black Label pairs perfectly with nightcaps and midnight snacks. Your nightstand will feel naked without Revitalite, so stock up. Pro tip. Drink half a night, the other half in the morning for the most optimal results. Pick up your Revitalite Black Label today in store or online at the Barstool Store and tweet us or tag at Drink Revitalite in your morning after stories. Baller. That's a I've real thing. That, when you get older, those hangovers actually become a real thing. Oh, oh bro. You remember being in college? Hangovers and, and last you, for days. You drink for, you drink for days in college. Yeah. Be fine. And you'd be like, all right, let's go to practice. Like puke and rally or anything. Yeah, the boot and rally. Yeah. Get going, boys. <laughs> but now, dude, if I even look at it, drink the wrong way. I'm getting... <laughs> Headache on sight. Oh, no question. No question about that. You get hangovers like that? Absolutely. I feel like you don't, though. I do, man. I've seen my man get after it, I'm and the next day, Roger, he I is... Will say, he really is a warrior, warrior when he gets out. You're truly like a different... You're on a different level. It hits, man. It definitely hits. And I've only, I, I've only been around you maybe one time, and it's really been just the day after. But I, I hear stories. What yeah. happened? What do you mean on what happened? What was that day you saw him after? It was after we lost the playoff game. Oh, you got to get after. Yeah. The, if you lose, you, after you lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's the last game of the year. This right. Gonna sound, you got to get shit. pretty sad, but it was just me and Mr. Casamigos on the couch, man. Really? It was like that. Fifth Puffy. Of Casamigos? It was like that. Yeah. At the, at, on the couch. I man. believe it. I mean, I went in there to the, my meetings with the coaches, just feeling a little spacey, but got the job done. Yeah. You can let your it breath was, on fire. Oh, yeah. What? No question. And it's probably obvious, the Super Bowl, but what has been the most painful loss? The AFC Championship game, the Super Bowl? Just the AFC Ravens in general? Championship game, man. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. Like, when you get to the Super Bowl, like, you want to win. But, like, honestly, we weren't doing anything well when we were in the Super Bowl. So What the fuck like, happened? You guys were like you guys were like the best offense since the greatest show so, on Bill Belichick so, happened. So, so it was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> right, that's right. Bill still, Belichick like, brought out the 6-1 front. Mm -hmm. The 6-1 front that we just couldn't seem to get past. With our running game, you know, we, <laughs> goal line we, defense we in the middle of the field, spread offense, you know what I mean? So we were able to create great matchups and then we just let, you know, Todd run wild, but he ran that six, two front and we couldn't get through the first line of defense and it turned into a problem. Next thing you know, you got to put everything on Jared's arm. That's a lot of pressure on a young kid at quarterback in the Super Bowl. Super yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like nothing was just kind of going our way. Defense was was trying to pull things together, but you know how it is when your offense is struggling and the defense doesn't, can't hold it forever. You end up losing the game, so we just we missed some some shots. It, it just wasn't good for us. But that AFC Championship game, we had that thing. I'm ready to 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 go to work and just continue to pound these guys in the run game. And we fell short, and man, it was sickening. That fourth quarter was freaking sickening. Brutal. Man. You were like in quicksand because we were fighting so hard to win in two minutes, and we just couldn't get it done, man. Yeah, that was a tough deal, was especially tough. when you go up 10-0 in the first quarter. Exactly. And we were moving. Oh, yeah. Like well, I remember, I don't know if you felt the same way, but when we went to the playoffs, it was like, we got the Patriots first, and you're like, all right, like, do we have the team that can do that? Like, you always, mm -hmm. even when you hit the playoffs, you're like, is our team capable of going to do, you know, do going to do this? And it was like, well, maybe. And then we go play the Patriots. And Tom Brady drops that Lion video. Dro oh, hey, that was a hype little yeah. dude. I actually watched that the other day. Yeah. Uh, Tom Brady drops that. You remember the yeah. Lion? It's too late sure to be do. scared. Mm. I should. I and should I actually... Where I'm in the hotel, I think I sent it, I sent it to the boys, and I was like, if we can flip this, if we can get the upset, yeah. that'd be an epic little video to right. post. We played that game, and we we obviously obviously won. And then everyone's like, everyone on national media is like, great story for the Titans, the end of the the past dynasty, but it's over with the Ravens, it's done. Mm -hmm. And then we go play the the Ravens, and we, dude. That was some of the best ball I've ever seen us play. Mm -hmm. Bro, the like, first two drives where we had thrown that watch party, I was like, oh, these boys are for real. Like, we, they hey. might go all the way. And also, shout out to the Ravens. They have the most hype pregame. Like, oh, yeah. Dude, lights flashing everywhere. The big screen. They're playing the most hype videos. I'm watching them going, fuck. This is some dope ass shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're about to play them. And then it just worked out way too well for us. As soon oh, as we, yeah. when we beat the Ravens, I was like, holy fuck, we can do this. Yeah. Like, we can legit. Yeah. Cause we already we beat the we beat the Chiefs in week ten, and so it was like, hey, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Because our yeah. O line was Keith Carter came into the the meeting like that next day or whenever we were back in the building, and Keith is like, I don't know what you guys are doing, <laughs> yeah, but right. keep fucking doing keep it, keep doing it. Whatever you guys are doing, like to recover, 
keep doing it because you guys look like it's week one. Well, we had a, we had a mentality that was just different from every other team. Our backs were against the wall when we were two and four. Two and four. You know what I mean? So Trash. We, had, we had that same mentality the whole time. And then when we had the Patriots, we're like, all right, backs against the wall again. Mm-hmm. We're going to come out swinging. That score did not show how we played that game because we were just physically eating, eating, eating dominant. Dude. Like it was, it was just great ball everywhere. Like we were talking about, our coach was talking about the greatest three yard run you'll ever see. Yeah, it's literally just pancakes all over the place. It, it was a and wild one guy scene. Trips up, trips up, Derek for three yards, but it was just probably one of the most dominant. Just body. It was one of the coolest games ever. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, one of the cool. Like as far as like cool getting movement, movement, like it's actually dominating. Foggy, dude. Bro. I thought it, it was yeah. on like a. The, I was like on the battlefield of Braveheart. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like we were just, it was like Gettysburg <laughs> out there, just dude. Running, just everybody's just running. The guys' faces other. were painted and shit. Yeah, dude, it was, it was like wild. Sick. It was fucking wild was out sick. there. And then when we went to the Ravens, man, I think that all that 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 shit talking that we were getting from the media, who you, you guys shouldn't even have a fucking side, right? There to just start back. Okay, all right, we'll show you. Mm. And then we showed them again in the AFC, and we just ran out of steam. We had four straight away games. That is tough on anybody's body. Mm. And we had we had the rushing record in the last game of the season yeah, versus dude. the Texans. We played that entire. He game. had a, Derek had hit like 180 yards to even get the rushing title. And you know what, Derek? If you, you have any, you, yeah, you said rushing record. You meant rushing title. Rushing title, yeah, because yeah, we we obviously didn't get that. But that year we needed like 170 yards or 180 yards. And with any other back, you're like, well, probably not. But with Derek, it's like, yo, we could go do that. You know what I'm saying? Derek's that dude. Yeah. You know. So we go that that's a huge highlight, getting the rushing record getting the rushing title, excuse me, and then going on those those games. That was like the most fun football I've ever been a part of. Oh, absolutely. By you far. Could tell, you could tell that we were finally gelling. Like, yeah. Completely. You guys are found at we found, found your identity too. We found the groove. Yeah, because I'm who knows? Cause who knows? Yeah. If we would have got that together at the beginning of the season, obviously we were missing our, our fearless leader and Taylor right there. But fearless. you know, wow. I fear some things. I, I feel. Like, <laughs> I, feel I get like, scared of the dark sometimes. I, I feel like I feel like if we would have gelled that together, you know, what I'm saying we have another chance to get another 2,000 yard season. So I mean, it's like, you know, kind of coming together and kind of going through those those challenges, and then just literally looking at them and breaking through those bitches. You, you I'm hit very right aggressive. I'm very aggressive. Oh, yeah, I, that's, I can, I'm I can very aggressive. He's a very aggressive man. Yeah. Everything and he does. Everything I do. So like, you know, that's that's what I love, man. We take pride in that shit. So yeah. you, you guys have gotten the rushing title like two years in a row. Derek had the back 2K back. season last year. Mm-hmm. Go on. Do you guys feel pressure to like get another 2,000 Before season? you answer this, remember Rabel. Yep. Remember Rabel will hear all this. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah don't, be, don't be I'm saying nothing. I'm not trying to get, get people. We're really working hard. And <laughs> the future's bright. Yeah. The future's bright. Yeah. And we're just going to keep, you know, working yeah. every single day. No, I game. think it's dope that you guys have that chance to go to... You. Get, it's like... Like, Derek was the number four player in the NFL Top 100. I know all that stuff. Like, I know this is all just bulletin board material for Vrabel. But it's been dope that you guys have had two rushing, rushing titles in a row. He had 2,000 last year, almost had the rushing record. And I know it's like, you know, you guys lost the boy. We lost the boy mid-year. And you guys are going into this season. I'm sure everybody just kind of feels like, you know, you guys would love to just break through that glass. I know you guys can't say nothing. The, but cool, th- the cool thing, I mean, for... Run yeah. fucking left. Run yeah. left. I mean, I think that's Roger and I take Good a job. lot of Good pride job. in like running left. Like we really want that. Like we want that pressure on you us. You want to carry that weight. No question about it. Like we, we really think we can do sh- special shit on that side. I, I on our whole O line, but like it's even a competition on the O line. Like I remember when Jack was here. Like we would tell, I'd be telling Jack, like, "Hey, just get a cut off, buddy. We'll take care of the rest." You know, like just joking with him. But you, know, Jack. Like obviously it was a, is a great football player and he was doing awesome shit too. I the cool thing for me and Raj, given we're both healthy for the for the entire season, like this is going to be our first season completely together for the whole like the whole thing. Yep. Because two when he first got here, that I, had, I missed the four games for suspension, and then week five Week. last year, I got I tore my ACL. That was trash. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think, I mean, for me and Raj, like we know we can do some cool shit together. Especially when we're on the same page. Like, we can do some really cool shit. So I'm really excited. Yeah. You hear his excitement. What's yours like? Oh, man. I'm super excited because it's just, like you said, first of all, we get everybody finally together. Uh, You know, even during camp, like, he couldn't always practice because, of course, you know, he had the ACL injury. But as soon as he comes back, man, we're over here passing off twists. We're over here taking care of double teams. Uh, We're doing everything that we want to do. And, you know, that's kind of like what you need. You need somebody with good chemistry. It's kind of like how you do this podcast. It's not going to work. If it's him and Buck, 
Yeah. Well, <laughs> Buck I, just take a straight hey, bullet. I, I, no I, I, can ca- I can carry a lot of shit, but I don't know if I can carry Buck. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's yeah. I, he heavy on my back, no, bro. I know what you're saying. That's spinal works, injury. It just works, and I'm and I'm and I'm super. <laughs> Put his ass down, yeah. old yeller, bro. Yeah. But no, but I'm 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 just I'm just super excited for the opportunity. And let's let's be real. I mean, we get to work with, you know, Ben again, Nate again. Uh, you know, we figure out who our right tackle is going to be. And then we're just going to ride, man. We're just going to ride. The stable's mm-hmm. open, boys. Stable. The stable is open. Might have the Clydesdale in there. The ass. What is what is this, the new setup? What is this? Yeah, yeah I don't know. They, come, they what, come There's the a new reds. setup for the ads. Um, your boy just got decent at reading at a fourth grade he, level. He's squiggly in like who the Oh! Is. And then he'll scroll down, I guess, once right. you say it. Well... <laughs> <laughs> advertisement name listen this is going to be exciting for all of you because i really enjoy it. i enjoy this clothing wear bare bottom clothing all right now we gotta scroll all right <laughs> before you pack your next trip check out bare bottom clothing their lineup of versatile menswear is perfect for getting it done it getting it done this summer and we're breaking to a fall so you know bare bottom clothing got a little bit of everything you know what i'm saying they have the internet's best deal. That's the internet's best deal. All right, Tell there's a lots it. of deals on the internet. You can get two unbelievably soft, lightweight tech tees and a pair of stretch shorts, which are stretchy, for under a hundred dollars. Don't get caught with shorts below the knees. Ridiculous. If you got shorts below the knees, all right, it's not the '90s and the early 2000s. Like Rocco wears out now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, with their That's 5.5. What's that? That's South Pole. South what Pole, South Pole? Far, you remember far, South Pole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. definitely see Rod rocking that shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My man was a teenager in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, bro. With their five point five and seven inch seam styles, bare bottom has your summer covered. Everything is built for value. You're getting the softest and stretchiest clothes in the game for a fraction of what you have to spend with the other guys. I got to read more, dude. I'm glad you're back, dude. <laughs> you're back. I am back. Uh, their five-star rated shorts, swims, and tees have gained a cut-like fo- a cult. cult-like following. Not a cut-like, a cult-like following. Drink this, dude. It's going to be all right. <laughs> a cult-like following of thousands of guys who have made Bear Bottom the MVP of their closets. Giving back is at the core of what Bear Bottom does. They donate... <laughs> Chill, Will. I need you to chill. They donate a school lunch to children in need for each item sold, right? So you bu- buy a pair of bare bottom shorts, ah. feed a child, nice. right? Nice. You do that to the, the, the best deal on the internet. You do yeah. the two t shirts and the shorts. Children, I don't know, there'd probably be three, three million. children. Probably be three children. You'd like three to think there'd be three children yeah. fed there. Yeah. Right? So that's people helping people. That's powerful stuff. Yeah. One of that's your how you, yep. you know what I'm saying? It's probably that We're cool going school up. school lunch, too, right? Oh, What's yeah. that? Yeah, that dope school. Yeah, dope yeah, yeah, lunch. yeah. You yeah. know, there's going to be like a Twinkie or like a, yeah, 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 a hostess yeah. cupcake in that nice. thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, get a free shipping on your first order of barebottomclothing.com with code BUSSIN. That's B E A R, like the animal. Rawr. They didn't. They didn't tell me to say that. I added that. I was an ad lib. <laughs> uh, bottomclothing.com. So barebottomclothing.com, and use code Bussin. That's B U S S I N. You're welcome. Help the children. Help yourself by looking fresh to death in the bare bottom clothing. It's truly one of the most unbelievable clothing lines out there. It's beautiful. You're next, Raj. You'll have oh yeah, you got to do. You're gonna do an ad next. No, it'll be fine. He's so close to the screen. Hey, speaking of when Taylor was like, you were probably a teenager when you wore this stuff. You've been in the league how long now? 12. 12 years. This is this is going to be year 12 or 13? 12. Not only has he been in the league for 12 years, he went to University of Indiana. So he already didn't have a fighting chance. <laughs> you know Yo, you went to fucking Indiana? Bro, he yeah. went to Indiana. He's one of like two people my in the line, NFL. My old line coach was the shit. And he was my recruiting coach. And I just couldn't tell him no. Are you proud when you say you're from Indiana? He's nah, not from Indiana. He's from Ohio. I'm from, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, man. No, get I'm your, saying the university. Which also, are you, pr- are you proud of that? Huh? You proud of being from Cleveland? Yeah, I'm, tra- I'm proud of being from Ohio. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you see the way he said you know it? Like, yeah, like, yeah, like it's, I mean, yeah. It's good. It's good. You know, I think You're that's part Cleveland? of the reason why I came to the Titans is that I'm an Ohio guy. Oh, R- oh Vrabel. For Vrabel, yeah. Very like nice. The, like the Paul brothers. <laughs> Jake and Logan Paul. Yeah. yeah. You got a hard on for those dudes lately, huh? No, why would I have a hard on for? Well, yeah, I heard, I saw on I mean, the pod. I'm just we like, were just arguing about something different. I don't, I don't want to give them any more light. But how many more uh, offers did you have between Indiana and who else? Who was your top five? <sighs> he probably didn't even have five. What was your top? No, you three? look at look at this man. 
Nah, man. Uh, Boy said Miami of Ohio. <laughs> Akron. Uh, yeah. no, no, I wish. No, no, no. no, no, no I mag, wish. No mag team would offer me. I thought that I was like damaged goods. When we started going on these trips to all these mag schools, they never. I never leave with an offer. I'm like, what the, what the fuck, man? Right. And then it was Were you because not very big I started getting. I'm started getting bigger offers, and they thought I would. No chance I would go over there. So yeah, tell um, them to rack those numbers up though. Yeah. Like, hey, just give me this little piece so I know I can tell somebody I got 20 offers or 15 offers. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. So, you know, IU, uh, 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 Northwestern, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio State. Who did, you uh, had an offer from Michigan and didn't go to Michigan? No, nah, I'm just I'm just fucking with you. Hey, I was yeah. going to say, hey, you know what I'm Michigan, Ohio State. Michigan fucking and offered me? Said Ohio State. I'm done. I'm done. Kansas offered me. Um but yeah, I I can I can't go against Ohio, man. With that whole Michigan shit, bro. That Ohio Michigan shit. Was, yeah, oh, you can. You were a huge Ohio State fan, girl. Oh, huge, huge, huge. But I already committed to Indiana. And they offered you late. Late, yeah. Oh, you gotta dip out on Indiana. Nah, man. I gotta I gotta stay at Indiana. I ended up graduating and starting all four years. I was in the league at twenty one. No so question. It's like, you know, Damn, I'm looking, that is I'm looking love at love when you get a big wit who's gonna be like forty this year, and I'm just like. Man, he's playing, I think this is 16 for him. So I'm just like, damn, if I was playing until I was 40, I'd be on year 19. So, I mean, that's a lot of time. How long do you want to play? Oh, I just, I want to play four more seasons. I've always told myself I was going to play 15 years. And then, you know, who knows what happens. If I'm, if I'm still with this guy for as long as I think I'll be, then who knows where I'll, where I'll be. I'll probably just say, fuck it, and keep chasing the money and chasing the dream. 15? 15? 15 of them pieces. How long are you trying to play? As long as until the wheels fall he, off. You want to play until the wheels fall off? the fucking wheels he fall He wants the decision made for him. Yeah. I, don't I want, want them to say sorry. I want them to go like this and go, sorry, son. It's yeah. over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's over. He's going to have everything. Hey, yo, wait, 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 He's going to workman's comp on fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure to file up. For, hey, make sure to file that stuff too now, that workman's Bro, comp. Yeah, I got here. you for this old little piece right here, yeah. dude. What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Like, what's helped you stay in the league so long? Oh, dude. Uh, we, we talk about it all the time. Taking care of your body, bro. Taking care of your body is huge. I didn't used to do it before. And because, because like we said, when you're young, you're able to drink and go straight to practice and be completely fine. Mm -hmm. You're able to, to, to work out, overwork out and be completely fine the next day. You could play a game on Sunday and been doing cartwheels on Monday. Like nothing had ever happened. Nothing ever happened. But after a few injuries, I started like, man, I got to really attack this thing. I started eating better. I started taking care of myself, started doing the IVs with, with, with Bobo. Man, I, no, I, I just bubble. felt, yeah, I just felt so much better. And I've been able to, I haven't, oh man, this is big. Okay. I have not had, I have not had. Knock, boys. I have not had. Knock at home. Knock at home any, and subscribe and yes. leave a comment. Leave a comment, I, say knock, knock. Leave a comment, say knock, knock. After, after having just some terrible uh, injury prone years, I have, haven't played less than 15 games every season for the last like five years, five, six years. That's huge. That That's is huge. Big. Especially being a lineman, dude. That's a tough deal. Yeah. Tough man. deal to play all 16. Tough yeah. deal. 15. You, how long were you on the Rams? Nine years. What was it like playing on the Rams? Dude, it was... <laughs> That's a, well, he, he was, That's a he was, well put, open-ended question. Well, there's a lot I feel like that went on with his, his tenure at the Rams because they yeah. obviously got good by the time he left, but you at were first, going through some shit. At first, uh, the first two years, the first year we were going to go... Um, possibly go to the playoffs at eight and eight. We lost to the Seahawks. That's when they went seven and nine. Mm -hmm. And thank God we lost because then we went to see that beast mode run because that shit was awesome. That shit was the se okay. second best run I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. And then next thing you know, the next year, bro, we go two and 14. I tear, Brutal. I tear a peck in the weight room. Thank that. I was like thankful. Like it was that. Yeah. Bad. Two and 14. Two and 14 was terrible. When bro. was your first oh, win? Isn't it awful being on a shitty team like that? Shoot, terrible. I think it was. Been there. You're, trying to, you're like, please just take me. I think it was like, <laughs> take me on the field. Like you're just hovering, like hovering, please, God. <laughs> yeah. Aliens, be down. Tom IR, Cruise. Right? This is IR, right? Like you yeah. just jammed your thumb. Like put me on IR. <laughs> yeah. You put, <laughs> I got to end this, right? <laughs> it was awful. It was awful. And then when Fisher came, like we were kind of mm -hmm. like that middle of the pack team where we couldn't get to eight and eight to save our life. In fact, one year we went seven, eight and one. We played the San Francisco, played San Francisco, played for 75 minutes and nobody could score. It was, it was awful. It was terrible. God. So McVay comes in, he's like, yo, we're going to bring some, we're going to bring some help in into the O-line. I said, all right, now people are thinking, cause people got to put some value in the O-line, man. Yeah. And then. McVay's a beast, by yeah, the way. Yeah. And yeah. I'm a big fan of McVay. Then he starts bring starts bringing hardworking, like wide receivers over like Robert Woods, who 
will sell out to block for the running back Love that. for a touchdown. And then you bring in Cooper Cup, who's just a workman just the whole time. And like Yeah, teeth like Jared, you. He started making he started getting he started <laughs> diversifying everything for us. So Bro, the the way that we were looking back then with the run game and the play action game and the passive, bro, we were we were just we we're dominant. Yeah, you guys are pretty electric the, yeah. for those those few years. I mean, they're still yeah. legit ass team. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. was uh? There's always rumors and stuff that McVay and Golf didn't always see eye to eye. Well, at first, I think that it was it was perfect, but you know, as you keep going on, you know, we're starting to see that. They lost a bunch of us on the O line. Then after that, you start seeing guys leaving on defense. You know, it just wasn't the same. It wasn't the same feel. So yeah. what's gonna what's gonna enter the void? It's gonna be some arguments. It's gonna be some things that just aren't explained. And then, you know, you just gotta go out and do the job. So eventually, they ended up trading trading golf. But you know, he's he's resilient. He's made some big time throws. And if you saw like the way that he dislocated his thumb or broke his thumb and was able to come back and play anyway. He's a, he's a tough dude, man. I've seen him take some big shots and and keep up and keep going. You talking shit. about golf, right? Yeah. Golf. Okay, okay. Because I know Stafford. He's like the same way. Yeah, Stafford's a online. stud. Yeah. You see that play where he like hurt himself? He got hurt, like yeah. hurt his shoulder. Yeah. yeah. And he went out for one play. He's like, I can I can throw I can throw it and threw the game winner right there. Yeah, he's a. I think he's a stud, yeah. dude. He's a stud. Sucks. Yeah, the, the Rams are gonna be a bit of a deal this year. I think that division's probably the hardest. NFC West. Yeah. Yeah, you, got Niners, you got it. the pretty, Niners, you got the Niners, the Rams. It's, it's pretty legit. close. It's pretty close. I mean, even the percentages for people trying to say who's gonna who's gonna take it all. I think it was like 29, 27, 20. Yeah, bro. Like it's nineteen or something. It's gonna be a, a war in like, that division. Check that yeah. math. Yeah, check, yeah, check, <laughs> check that math. <laughs> don't, yeah, like, don't back uh, carrying the one. I'm like, oh fuck. Uh, what what do you think? Is that probably the hardest division, or do you think there's another division that's harder? Man, I, I really think I really think it's the NFC West this year. You get the NFC East. <laughs> uh, hey, they're, uh, the, that Washington what? football team now—they got a defensive hey, they line. They got a little squad. Now. They got a little squad over there. Yeah, they really do. Yeah, and then they got um, who would they bring in? Fit, uh, Fitzpatrick. He's a beast. I love. Fitzpatrick. I mean, like, bro, he's know, a stud. He's he's, he's, he's electric. He's, fun to watch. he's a fun guy to watch. Yeah, and then they got that defense over there. That D line, the Chase Young. Is legit. Bro, Chase Young is enormous. I hear. Don't, don't sweat Matt either, dude. He's a stud, also. Yeah, yeah. Get Chase Young on the bus. We tried. Yeah. I don't know. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, love that. Hey, before, (laughs) yeah, yeah, I guess we can do it. Hey, you're up. Wow. Are we going to throw him into this one? We're going to throw him in a cross country mortgage? (laughs) Go ahead. Go ahead, Will. I'll do. I'll take the cross country mortgage. Or if you want, hey, I can do it again. I would love for you to take cross country mortgage. (laughs) First of all, I was going to say you're welcome. On cross country mortgage. (laughs) Oh, oh, I'm reading a book. Oh, and there ain't no pictures in this thing, dude. There's some good information. In There's, some, There's good some, information some good information here. Information. Let's let's make sure we get it all. We're reading every fucking word here. Yeah. And it hasn't started yet, so I can curse. Uh-huh. Car- <sighs> Pray for me. Uh, Cross country mortgage is much like us at Barstool, a people first group of <laughs> of people. What? Uh, they are, first line in. They are dedicated to uh, to the fundamentals of mortgage lending, which result in fast, convenient, and less stressful home financing and refinancing experience. Nailed it. Rates are rates are unbelievably low. <laughs> Don't pay the bank more money than you need to exclamation point. <laughs> Our friends over at cross country mortgage, make it super simple to figure out how much you can save on a monthly basis. And over the life of your loan, the numbers can be staggering. And you don't know how much you can <laughs> save unless you actually talk oh, to God, an expert okay. and figure it out. They, dude, these guys, first off side note, Cross Country Mortgage is a super passionate group because they obviously wrote this and there's an exclamation at the end of every damn sentence here. All right. Uh, click here, swipe up more about, uh, swipe up to learn more about your finance and connect with your team over at Cross Country Mortgage who will make the process as painless and simple as possible and help you keep your money in your pocket so you can have do fun things like Subscribe and rate five stars to the Bust with the Boys. Yep. Buy some merch with Bust with the Boys. Go, go to, to the big game. Go, go to the big Watch game. Watch the boys run left. And buy a hot dog. <laughs> I can do a whole bunch of things. Scroll back up, Al- uh, Alex. I'm reading every word of this ad. Go back. They need to make this uh-uh. less painful and more simple. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the if, homeowner part. Uh, if, if you're a home run... 
<laughs> if you're a homeowner <laughs> and haven't refinanced recently, you may leave be leaving thousands, if not tens of thousands. Heck, who knows? Could be hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table over the life of the loan that could be working for you and other places like a makeover. And a second or inve uh, investment home purchases. Uh, if you want to become a real estate investor or maybe just have a boat load of cash in your pocket. I thought they actually wanted you to get a boat. Uh, a boat load of cash in your pocket Ooh. to gamble on your favorite sports teams like oh. the Tennessee Titans. Mm. All right. Uh, rates are at all times low. Are at all time lows. May never get this low again. They might not. All right. They might never do it again. So now is the time to do it with Cross Country Mortgage. Uh, call today for a fast free quote. Our partners will save you a lot of money. Call today and your friends at Cross Country Mortgage will give you a free home evaluation that is free to you just for calling. Just like uh, the all-star athlete, Cross Country Mortgage pushes themselves through the entire <laughs> lending process. If they, if they get blocked, we're going to pause this ad read for a second. <laughs> this ad is brought to you by Busting with the Boys. We just start doing an ad read within the ad read. <laughs> Now back to the ad. Uh, they figure out ways to get around the ball or get the ball over the line. It's uh, really strong that cross country mortgage has decided to make themselves seem like professional athletes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a strong, that's a strong statement. But they are pros over there. They are pros over there. They They're going to save you like pros. thousands, tens of thousands. Heck who knows? Even a hundred thousands. Mm. Um, don't miss the window as rates are expected to creep, creep up. That's TLC. Reach out, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. And wait, please, please listen to the whole ad read. Don't skip over this. And when you connect with Cross Country Mortgage, tell them Barstool sent you. And also tell them the boys sent you. Yeah, tell right? Them Don't boys generalize sure. it. Just say, you listen to this yeah. ad read. You've gutted through this. Make sure yeah. you do it. All right. Go to crosscountrymortgage.com slash Barstool to learn more about your future home buying experience or refinance your current mortgage. Cross Country Mortgage LLC NMLS 33029, all loans subject to underwriting approval. www.nmlsconsumeraccess.org. Phenomenal. Well, don't even, don't clap for that. Could you? Don't clap for that. that. I know. Once I saw, once we saw Cross Country, I was like, oh yeah, I don't know if we can throw them to that one. I, know I don't want you to have to do that one, Raj. I'll, yeah. Hey, I'll lay on that sword for you. <laughs> yeah, appreciate uh, what's it. this one? That's a fight camp one. It's something we have to do right now. He's just bringing that up. Bless up, cuz. Where were we? What were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about I this time the Rams. There was something on my brain, and I was like, we'll oh, I'll go. Um, so when you were leaving the Rams, yes. at one point, you actually ended up going to the Raiders, but that didn't work out. What, what was yes. that situation all about? That's exactly what I was trying I'm to do. Good shit, dude. See? Chemistry. Good shit, bro. Okay. Chemistry. It works. Buck would never have done that. I know, never. He never would. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically, uh, I, it, I was done with the season. Um, they what were year was this? I think it was 2014. Okay. I think it was 2014. My rookie year. Second and, um, it, yeah, it was 2014. We had just got done with the season and I was literally like kind of talking with, you know, the Rams guy, but we were kind of cash poor over there. So they didn't have a lot of money, which is the same situation that I kind of went through when I went through with the Titans. Yeah. Um, so I, I went out to test free agency. Uh, it was looking like Tampa was going to be the guys. They were going to be the guys. Very hot down there. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very hot. Which, yeah, you know, I thought about immensely. Were you like, "Fuck"? Yeah, I'll do yeah. it, but fuck. That's yeah, what I exactly. Be. And then you know, they they I get another offer that just jumped theirs, you know, and it was it was a really really high offer. In fact, I was going to be a highest paid offensive lineman in the league. Okay, and then offensive lineman or guard? Offensive lineman. Oh wow! I was going to get more than uh, what's what? at the time it was probably Trent Williams. No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't Trent at that time. Was it Trent the five was year a, deal? Trent was on a six year deal. That's right. You know, yeah, for you know, first round guys had the longer deal. So I had the four year deal, and then it was it was somebody coming out of Miami, Brandon, um, the left tackle. He was coming out. Eugene Monroe was coming out, and they were all getting these pretty big deals. But it was around like thirty six to thirty eight, and I was in like the forties. Oh damn! Yeah. So so next thing you know, they're all about it. They're like ready to roll out the red carpet, everything. I go over there. I'm getting ready to sign. Test me on my physical. They're like. Doctor says everything's good. And then the Out coaches, I'm talking to all the coaches. I'm talking to everybody, and everybody's still in good spirits. And then next thing you know, like the lawyer of the owner just like comes into the room with my agents in there and he's like, yo, no deal. We're failing him on his physical. What? No deal yeah. with failing him on the what physical. What did they fail you for? <laughs> they said they failed me for my shoulder. 
<laughs> they said they failed me for my shoulder. So, so what do you I, think it was? For Laura real? comes no, in, like, yo, no it deal. Was, it was, it was, it was buyer's remorse because I was higher than any other. They like thought, athlete. oh, we we fucked this. Deal. We, they we did too yes, much. Yes, they thought that they gave me too much because I was making more than everybody. But I was going there to play left tackle. That's oh, what's damn. Really crazy. Yeah, I was going there to play left tackle. So, you know, I get failed on my physical. The deal with Tampa's gone. So I why did they said they signed somebody else. Yes, yes. Was it what, who did they sign back then? Uh, I'm talking about the phrase yeah, "fuck me to tears." That's wild. Yeah, the, they signed oh, the DN. They signed the DN, and after they get, we went back to Tampa, and Tampa was like, "We don't have any, we don't have any money left. We just gave away the deal." That's what and they then, tell me. Yeah, and so so we went, <laughs> <laughs> so we, so we, so I'm so I'm calling back, and I'm talking to 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 Fisher, and uh, my agents got him on speakerphone and everything. He's like, "Yo, like things didn't work out with with uh, with Oakland. Uh, we were thinking about coming back," and then he's like people start cheering and shit. I'm just like, what the, what the fuck? Like, I didn't understand what was going on. So they brought me back, got me on a five year deal. And I basically lost probably like 14 million on the deal. Wow. Because they got buyer's remorse last fucking minute. Jesus, dude. (laughs) How pissed were you? Oh man. At first I was pissed. And then, you know, I got like kind of taken around and shit. And I was just like, fuck this dude. Like it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the bee's knees. This was before Las Vegas. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I was yeah. staying in like one of the hotels and like I didn't even know where the fuck I was. Hey, he's probably, was hey, he was probably in that extended stay. Yeah, dude. That was, that was, it was, it was I'm weird. I'm telling you. Well, but, Oakland, you know, Oakland, Oakland extended now. stay, that Alameda. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, you know, I, at the end of the day, everything works out for a reason, you know, got to go to the Super Bowl. you know what I'm saying? Got to see some more success with the Rams. Thought I was going to be a lifer. And then after that, you know, they said they didn't have any money again. And this was after they gave um, uh, Rob Havenstein his money. I was like, ah, shit, it's probably not looking good in the cards right now. Super happy for Rob, by the way. But then after that, man, when they told me they couldn't give me anything, I started going on. Dude, the Tennessee Titans were the first ones that were there. And, dude, they they went to battle with, like, four or five different teams. And <laughs> you knew that when it came down to, to Tennessee or Houston, they weren't going to let Houston hit me. Yeah. So, so, they, so they jumped up and got me. So it was everything works out for a reason, man. The thing that's wild is I remember being in California and I heard that we were like, someone tweeted like Roger Saffold is like being courted by the Titans, not those specific words. So I tweeted at Raj. Right. People you, wanted you. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. like, are you ready to be best friends? Yeah. And he kind of ghosted me for a day. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I had like, to. But he I does. didn't know that you guys were actually talking at that time, like legit, like close to a deal. And the next day yeah. he signed. And oh, he, t- he tweets gotcha. at me and goes, I'm ready to be best friends. <laughs> so is that hard that's for you right, to hear? Man. No, I, I know that's, I, I, you know, I know you're up and down like that. Like, when I see it happen, like, when I see it happen, I'm like, I, Taylor, he's got to do his thing. Like, Dang. I know what the real game is. Yeah, okay. I know the real I'm game. like a dog, dude. I'll run out the front door, but I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Run out the front door, start sniffing yeah. some shit, like, and come back. You know where home is. You guys are, you guys are, you, know you guys are extremely close until that play happened. Yeah, we'll and play. And then, you know the play. That the first Raiders, play. When I was yes. the Raiders? Okay, bro. we're bringing that back up. Bro, we're here. Remember, remember and circle around. back. Remember when everybody FaceTimed you on the Bro, oh, my that God. Shit was, bro, that funny. shit was, that shit was hilarious. The fucking plane. I'm just sitting there like, fuck, man. Roger's sitting there bad. just chilling. Like, yeah, you, you, thought, you thought, oh, man, he might feel the type of way. And well, he was like, hey, are you close? I fuck with you, man. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was funny, though, because the whole defense was sitting behind me. And I showed everybody the play, and then we FaceTimed you, and they all just started losing it. Dog. So they like, Taylor had me on FaceTime and he goes, what did you say? Like, Hey, can you hear me well? And then he goes, Hey, can you see this? And he flips the camera on. They got the iPad pulled out already with the game up. <laughs> and he just plays the first play in front of everybody. Everybody's like, we're all laughing, having a good time. But yeah. Dog, when I was, I couldn't finish it earlier, but when I landed on the ground, you know, like when you fall and you're literally, you want to get up so fast that it doesn't even look like you fell down. That's how I was feeling when that happened. Cause that was the first play. And I'm like, God fucking damn it. Oh, dude. wow. I know. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how, like, you know. I'm like, keep going. It was embarrassing, man. Yeah. It was. I was like, man, not in front of the boys like this. Dude, that was tough. Not in front of my wife. She's in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> what was worse, that? Or showing up in the locker room after you guys lost with all them jerseys. Bro, I had a lot of jerseys, man. I, I I felt 
I don't, I just knew, I knew when I was going in the locker room, like I just knew I was going to be misunderstood. Yeah. So there's really no way for me to talk about it. Cause he had to, he had to like address the team, like break it down. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they're waiting on you. And there's no, I can't give context, background, nothing. It just looks like, it looks yeah. like I, I threw the game. Hold all the jerseys, kind of yeah. put them to the side. Oh, like I'm, because the way you go into the locker room there is like you go up all the stairs, right? And once you get to the top of the stairs, you just go straight into the locker room. Oh. So they're all sitting there in the locker room. They're literally just looking at the double doors open with the top of the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'm like, you know, my cleats are going going up the stairs, and I get to the top of the stairs, and I got all these jerseys. I, I was like, oh, my bad, coach. I set the jerseys down. I came over and just took a knee, and he's like, does the thing where he's like looking, and then he just looks at the group, and then starts just addressing the team. But you just knew everybody yeah. was like, because they were waiting on me. The dude, remember, I was out there with you guys, and I'm like, hey, you gotta go. Like the team is yeah. brought up. Yeah, yeah. You were, and you I was like, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. I gotta he go. was hanging. He was borderline molested out there. Yeah, yeah. The boys love yeah. you. Yeah. 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 But I was that, that was a tough little moment. It says a lot about the boy Will and any of these uh, NFL owners that are listening to the podcast. Will does bring a team together now. I appreciate that. Hey, man. the boy does. When we would, uh, we'd go, we'd travel, right? Or play teams every week, obviously. And we'd be warming up as the backers. And I'd usually, there's usually somebody on the other team that I just know. And we're like over dapping each other up. And my linebacker coach is like, you're just like the fucking mayor of the NFL. Like, you <laughs> literally know everybody. How good that feel when he said that? I just smiled, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah Brand new team. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. Let them things out. <laughs> let them things live. Is it, are we doing, this is another ad. Time flies. Boy, when you're we are fun. just repping these oh, ads out, dude. I know. Here we go, Raj. Hey, you're Do up, you want me to hit this one too? All right. <sighs> now, hang on. What are we, who are we shouting out first? Fight Camp. Okay, there we go. All right. Fight Camp, the camp of fight. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to learn Don't how start. to box or kickbox from real fighters? Do you want to get your kids involved in a fitness journey with you while teaching them the valuable skill? Fight Camp brings the boxing and kickboxing gym right to your home yeah. with full body workouts that you'll actually look forward to <laughs> and a freestanding punching bag that can take your hardest hits. Not Rogers. <laughs> Not Rogers. <laughs> it, it, com <laughs> it comes with all the gear you need to box at home, including a freestanding punching bag, boxing gloves, quick hand wraps, and their unique punch tracking sensors mm. that challenge you to hit minimum amount of punches each round and allow you to track your boxing and kickboxing journey so oh, wow. you can see all the progress you're making kind of mess with this man yeah. this is great for kids really great for kids <laughs> love that <laughs> fight camp great for kids it's one of the only home workouts that are safe for kids to do because there are no heavy weights mm. and spinning wheels as soon as most people get their fight camp bag the kids are always the first to walk up and want to try it oh learn bag. from not one not two not three but six highly qualified trainers <laughs> all with real fight experience ranging from a pro mma fighter and mother of two to a box a kickboxing champion wow fight camp uses new tech that tracks each punch you throw to measure speed, volume, and output so you can follow your progress. Push yourself, compete on the <laughs> community leaderboard, might have missed the word there, and challenge others or do you versus you <laughs> on the new I would have, verse I, mode. I, if that, I would have ended it there. If they hit me with do you versus you, I would have. I probably would have left the bus. Hey, good on you. <laughs> You can pay you can pay for your fight camp over twenty four months or less than the cost of a boxing gym and get get it right away. Plus, wow. fight camp offers free shipping within a thirty day money back guarantee. Just go to jointfightcamp.com slash bussin. Bussin. You did well. Thanks, yeah, man. you did good. You did good. It's just kind of like you know, like you guys, you you have your ad libs that you put in there, which are really really nice. They give texture, yeah. to your ad, right? You, know I mean? you want to feel the ad. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. What I just did is the shit that we always do as athletes. You know, what? we read those little PSAs, just like you read that PSA at the airport. Bro, I hear that I shit all the Hi, time. I'm Taylor. Taylor. He said, I have arrived Hi. with that shit, boys. Hi, I'm Taylor Lewis. Hi. Left I tackle for the Tennessee Taylor Titans. Taylor Lewis. Yeah. Left tackle for the Tennessee Titans. No, 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 no. There was way, it was way more fluid than that. <laughs> how many takes did that? How many, oh, I get lots of texts all the time, dude. I get guys like, hey, no, man. how many takes did that take? Oh, that one not very many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm texting all the time, man. People, okay. like, oh, people, yeah, people yeah, gas my ass suck, up with them things. That's a self suck. That is 100% a self suck. Ding. Dude, people do hit me up all the time. I, okay, let's go back to how many takes. <laughs> hey, <we got. laughs> they sent like seven of them things, and I just read them over and over and over again, then did it. One take Lawan, dude. If okay. I get to read the thing, mm -hmm. it's yeah. no problem. Yeah. But you got to put me to read on the spot. 
that's probably my my biggest fear was now that I do this podcast it doesn't really bother me yeah, anymore heart races a little bit when it you does yeah, I don't know if I could do like news anchor like hell thing, no the thing is, bro the thing hell is no rolling no the thing is rolling yeah I, don't, I, w- I wouldn't want to do that dude I wouldn't want to do that there's a lot of things you can do outside of football uh, and some of the things you do outside of football is you own your own gaming company mm-hmm well, talk to us about that. How, like, Big smooth, we all we all grew up in our parents' transition. smooth, smooth transition. God, I, hey, keep it going. I apologize for interrupting, but I had it's, to, bro. It's it's smooth suck. with smooth. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah. So uh, when we grew up as kids, you play video games. Your parents are like, I don't know why you're doing this. You're never gonna make money off that. Blah blah blah. Times have changed, mom and dad. All right, get with the fucking times. Yeah. Because you own your own company. How that? Uh, talk to like, how do you even start that? When did it uh, start? For one, it was scary as shit because yeah. you guys know that when you go to the symposium. All they talk about is how everybody loses their money by doing shit like this. Right. 30 for 30. Or, yeah. Or, or putting in some some damn studio or some shit trying to get into the music game. I've done both. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> my man my man was at a symposium. Yeah. Yeah. They said, don't do this. He goes, all right, bet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's not even get started with that. I had a whole spiel and I'll get right back to the. To the topic. Yeah, go ahead. So okay, sorry. okay. We yeah, like to, right. you can go anywhere okay, you want okay, with this podcast. Get you started, but go ahead and start. Say, I'm talking yeah. to these kids about social media and next thing you know, the kid that was asking the question about social media is on a private jet, a private private jet with his chain on, sipping on something, and I'm just like, I literally just told this kid, like, not even on close friends, like, do not do this. I told him that the the day before, that yeah. next day he went off and did his own shit. So it's hard to to tell young kids what to do. Kids nowadays, yeah. am I right? Yeah. Private but jets. No, but no, listen, they always Flexing. they also said this, which I did, which I did take personally, which is invest in something that you're passionate in. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was very passionate That's into the gaming. Personally. All right, I invented it. Okay, you invented a I game. I invented Rise Nation. Like oh. I invented this, so I didn't okay, buy it from like, nobody. Okay, what do we mm-hmm. we started Founded off. It. We started off streaming our gaming on Twitch, which Twitch is probably the biggest leader when it comes to to streaming. Which YouTube is trying to get into that as well. But I started on Twitch. Somebody came up with the idea, like, "Hey, start your own team." We did this before it was considered a sport from ESPN, and then next thing you know, we're just growing organically and it doesn't cost that much right Mm -hmm. it's just kids playing games and you know they're winning like ten thousand dollars you know you take a certain percentage but you know you make sure the kids are making money you take all of the the marketing uh, for selling jerseys controllers energy drinks like all that stuff you take all the marketing yeah yeah you take all the marketing Cause they take a they take a big chunk home like you them only, kids got a union up yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. they 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 already they already control they already have a lot of control really in all the leagues it's it's pretty crazy but you know I got into that and then it just exploded we uh we got into the sports business journal for being I was the only active player to 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 be in esports at all the only other person was Rick Fox this so, was at the time yeah at that time so yeah so it was Rick Fox and then. Shaquille O'Neal started getting into it, and A. Rod started that man's getting in into it. Um, OBJ started getting into it, and then it just like just Kenny Vaccaro is also in that, right? Yes, right. Kenny yeah, Vaccaro, Kenny Vaccaro got into it after me, um, which which he was. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. He did a good job. He did a good job with marketing for his team, and and his team is is pretty much on this game Destiny, which don't have a league just yet. But all these competitive games are becoming. What like is Destiny? Is it like? League. Is it like? A it's COD like, or like a it's like a first person oh, shooter. We're getting dummied with, in the comments right now. God, hey, look, I don't yeah, I don't know I the know, games like okay. that. It's, you want to pop on Nintendo sixty four first <laughs> bet or Rocket go. League or Rocket League? Right. Catch them hands. Oh yeah, yeah. You got the Rocket League down packed. Yeah, we do we do Rocket <laughs> the League. But no, nah, yeah. So it's Destiny. So Destiny is like this like space first person shooter, and he was doing great with that. He was he was partnered with Twitch and everything. So. Shout out to Kenny for that, man. Shout out to Kenny. Yeah, that was, that was this is good. Destiny right here on the YouTube thing. Yep. <laughs> but I started off. I started off with Call of Duty, and okay. I'm talking about Call of Duty Four when it, the, the mania started. For so are you still shoes. in it? Yeah, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. I'm not. Oh I, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, boy got I'm big. Not I don't, I'm not gonna put the boys in, stuff out there, but he he got I'm some not, shit going on now. Okay. I still got a ton of com- contacts with with Call of Duty, and I'm definitely trying to get a franchise with them next year because obviously because the covid just messed everything up and then also valorant my valorant squad is like one of your what squad valorant Valorant. another game another game come out that's just like almost like uh like search and destroy you know you only got one life you know you dead you dead for the round yeah really yeah so question like rainbow six yeah i love rainbow six yeah yeah, just like you guys finding common ground just like that Uh. but gears of war too i mean we got everything well, how did COVID mess up video games? That's what I was, yeah. Well, what it did is it made all of the 
the streaming way better. Mm-hmm. But nobody got to go to live events. So they're still not making as much money mm-hmm. as they could have been making. Live so events is where the cash to, is at? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. when it came to expanding the league, which they wanted to bring four more teams on, they were like, yo, we're, we're just going to stick with these 12 teams until we're able to upgrade again. And we want you to own a franchise because everybody knows you in the space. So we're like, okay, we're, we'll, we're, we'll be down for that. And now my Valorant squad is they're already on their way. They've already qualified to be in like land tournaments. They're going to be at the Staples Center playing. We've had a Street Fighter guy who won everything. He was the best Street Fighter, street fighter player in the world. Um, and he was from freaking Brazil. Yeah, I got Vietnamese players, Canadians. <laughs> guys in the UK it's, it's my boys it's, international yeah we're international so it's, it's it's really exciting it's really exciting how do you find talent like how do you find these Man, dudes to make a team the thing is is like players <laughs> these days they're only playing from like 18 to like 27 once you start to get to a certain age you start trying to like leave the game but still be a part of it kind of like we do so mm. instead of going into broadcasting and shit they're like oh let me be your scout your scouting guy for for this game let me be your person uh who who's like a manager for this team mm-hmm. and then we've been using it like that and we've been finding all these people and we, when we send people out to look for like these top gamers and maybe they don't have an org yet they just kind of just funnel right into us so we got really lucky we had the one of the the, the top Madden player in the world and then he left us because he got a fucking job with EA Sports I'm like I can't compete with that shit yeah it's in the game that's how I'm saying yeah. it's literally in the game what, <laughs> I, why do kids stop playing at 27 I feel like that's a game like what do they get 10 nights in the thumbs no 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 your reaction time what your reaction time these young kids that come up that, that come up playing they're, they're, they're what they call cracked they're able to just move and lock on to anything that moves. Just yeah, so he's much smiling. Faster. You know what that is? You know what crack is? Not crack, the drug. You know what I'm talking about? What he's talking about. Crack. You know what he's talking about? You're a gamer like that? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. I've been gaming like COD 4. Like How old are you? Yeah, he's oh, so you got one more year. So right, you're about to be over it's the, the hill. It's the truth. It's the reaction time. And if kids even younger, I'd be like 14. Or yeah. 20 like year olds too. Just crack. ridiculous. Just ridiculously good at, good at the game. And. And now these guys are starting to do uh, these these multi platforms where they can let PC guys get into it. The mm-hmm. PC guys are even crazier. Yeah, they got they got a whole bunch of different they shit don't with know them. How they make their fingers move like that? Like I stopped I stopped trying to play the guitar because I kept fucking my hands up. Right, football, you know what I'm saying? Can't, can't do shit, dude. That's some wild and shit. That's I didn't a, know that's that the reaction thing was like industry. that. So yeah, how, how do you make money? Oh, dude, you win championships. They have championships that have for millions of dollars. At the end of the year, usually the the season ends around July, August, and then after that, it starts back up again around January. It's 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 complete madness. I've been to these events. I mean, people go crazy. They dress up like characters. They're fanboys. These these kids that are on these teams are like superstars, but they're not superstars on like Instagram. It's all on Twitter. So you'll see some random guy that plays Call of Duty. He'll have like two hundred thousand people following him. To really? watch his clips of him just killing people, bro. And that's he, an insane shit. You can get paid as an individual. You get paid as an individual, like oh yeah, well, like a bus with the boys sponsor somebody. You're like think, you're like paying to be advertised on their Twitch stream. I guess so. Seth on Optic, he was he was he got sponsored by like, I think it was Brisk, like like Brisk tea, it's delicious drink, Brisk iced tea. Yeah. Like he had his own brisk iced tea. Oh, like like this is this is crazy. So why does an indiv- why would an individual come and be on your team if they can be individually sponsored and just stream Twitch? Oh well, that's because that's what they 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 have the same competitive, you know, kind of vibes that we have. You know what I mean? So they want to compete still. They don't want to just be a streamer because they feel like they get bored. Oh, okay. You know what I mean, like Ninja's able to do this because Ninja's that do with the, cur- yes, the colorful yes, hair, cause, right? Cause he, yes, because he could do on the cover all of ESPN. That. He could yeah, do, it's crazy. He could do he could do all that and just have a great time being on just that space. But also, he's not good enough to be on a squad to be able to get competitive like that. Oh, so he's he's washed, dude. He's his his. The so he's kids, just an influencer. Yeah, he's he's an just influencer, an influencer. Streamer. Because there's kids on the game that are so much better. You see him go to like big time events. I think that he had a huge Vegas event where he was going like head to head with some of these guys, and he lost most of them. Really? Yeah. Hey, Ninja, overrated. Yeah, Roger Saffold said that. Yeah, Roger Saffold now. Personality. Take you a long way, that personality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He started really popping when he had that blue raspberry hair. 
Right. I, I, yeah, I know. I know who you're talking about for sure. You good? Yeah, I'm like just you're, thinking you're, about this whole it? game. It's like you're digesting. I'm like thinking in my mind like what it's like running that entire operation. Of it's the also world it's, when thinking. it comes to investors, it's hard because you know everybody wants to get in, especially like other athletes. But like if you're not really in it, or if you expect too much out of it too fast, you guys know how it goes. It's you're playing the long game out. with it. Yeah, I'm playing the long game. I just feel like you have to you have to really like invest in like getting dudes on your team who are going to win you these titles. So you're taking like risk building mm-hmm. a team, and then if you don't win, you're like fuck. Well, and you lose. Our team's kind of underwater right now. Well, see, yeah, well, see, you that's lose. The thing. That's the thing about franchises because it's going to be like the the profit is going to be split among all the teams. So you got so much profit sharing going on that guys are still making money regardless. Okay. Yeah, and once I own these franchises, I'm gonna be like fucking Amy or something, man. But oh, how do you, cool. if you don't, don't win Amy? championships, how else do you make money outside of championships? Oh, the marketing is just ridiculous. And okay. they also have in-game app purchases where we take a, a percentage of what we spend on the, on the, um, on the actual game. So they bring in like a camouflage weapon, a different skin for your character. Oh, they'll, okay. they'll do a banner or something like that. And because my team is red, black, and white, people love that color scale. So we just get bought even when people don't even know the game. So you, you can make your own banners and shit. Oh yeah, you can make a boss with a boys banner, <sighs> bro. That would be freaking sick. Yeah, you be dope, that? Like you get get, then, get some then, little creative stuff. We gotta stuff, do, do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it for like Fortnite. Yeah, interweb. do it for like Fortnite. Fucking wolf skin, just just go crazy. Wolf skin. I know. I fired you up, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But the 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 bus with the boys banner hanging, I think. Yeah, bro, be sick, man. Really do it. Mm-hmm. Really set it off. Can you trade kids? Like, can you trade somebody to a different company? Oh yeah, I've done that multiple times. Really? I've had guys. I've had. I've had teams. I've had teams. I've yeah, had teams. you enjoy that way too much. I don't know if that's yeah. a good thing. Because it's because it's, it's it's crazy. Like what I'm telling you. Like I'm like in ownership. I feel like I'm one of like these NFL. Like you know, Amy. Yes. Like like John. Like, yeah, he, like Rob. John. Like J Rob. Because literally, I've had people that like. Roger Saffold says he is J Rob. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> yeah. that's had, the quote. I've had, I've had kids want to go to these different teams, and then it's like that new team has to buy them out. They have to pay me to take them. Because they have to buy them out of their contracts. My man's Manchester it's United crazy, out here, man. dude. It really is. Are they hardworking? Oh, man. I've had to teach some of these guys how to be men. How to help, oh. how to, like, help take care of themselves. Counseling. How to be cool with their money. But other people are douches and they got to leave. And then there's other people that, you know, really rise up. And then I'll send money over. Like, give me this guy. You don't want him. All they do is talk shit about him. Damn. Could I give you some advice? What's that? On an example of the show of hard work? What's that? Georgia boot, the world's mo- the world's hardest working and most comfortable boot in America. Georgia boot is America's hardest working boot, oh and for eighty God. years, Georgia's been making boots that work as hard as you do, tough enough for your job, cool enough for everything else. Georgia boot boot makes super good looking and super comfortable boots, so comfortable you never want even you never want to take them off, even when you're gaming. I like looking good, and so do the boys. And when we're wearing these boots, everyone's asking, "Hey, where do you get these boots? How can we have these boots? How can you game in these boots?" It has the comfort technology of an athletic shoe packed into a great looking boot uh, great looking boots that are widely comfortable at a price you can afford whether you're working on your feet all day gaming working around the house grilling out with your boys playing football these boots won't sacrifice comfort or style georgia boot offers the best work boots wedges and loggers around whether you need a waterproof boot steel toe soft toe square toe met guard non-puncture shank non-slip sole or a cleat they've got it all got head it over all. to georgiaboot.com and use code bussin for 20 percent off that's b-u-s-s-i-n for 20 percent off georgia boot shout out the boys first of all well he's first the best ad reader of all I of mean, us i mean Shout out to Ben Jones, right? Well, oh yeah. Boot. I mean, I feel like I feel like that's his guy. He would be a great ambassador for Georgia yeah, Boot. For, for real. Georgia Boot, and if you are listening to this, like Raj is not bull he's not bullshitting right there. Like Yeah, bro. Ben Jones would be a move. He would be a move. He needs to be a little more active on uh, Instagram for him, I think, but he'd be a move. <sighs> Man, ben got that personality. Me? He, he does. Ben's got that he'd good wear personality. The, he'd wear those boots that we have. He'd wear them on the plane. Oh, he'd really? Model the boots. You should wear them on the plane. Mm. Probably. I'll mm-hmm. wear them. I'll wear them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'll better, wear the hell out of them things, them. boss. Yeah. I'll walk more than 10 miles in them things, comfortable as hell. Yeah, you know hell what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you, baby. I'll walk I walk the hell out of them things. The Georgia boot rips. And they're fashionable. You they love are. fashion, too. Oh, man. What's up with the fashion? What's up with the fashion obsession? Okay, so growing up, obviously. Nobody, MTV? Nobody cries. Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't, have a, we didn't have a lot of money. So I didn't have a lot of money for clothes. Um, I used to have to wear fucking Buddy Riddell's. Like I don't know what a Buddy Riddell is. It's a shoe. It's a shoe, and it's pretty bad. 
Yeah. Yeah. Pull up some Buddy Waddells for the boy. Yeah. And then and then like I got like one pair of like Black Forces. I got one pair of shoes like a year. Fire. So it was it was it was tough. So then of course I get to the league, start getting all these shoes, start getting known for shoes and hats. Then after that, I'm like, you know, I want to like wear nice suits. Like, I'm, this is something I didn't really have. So I'm like, I want to get these nice custom suits. After the custom suits came, then came the clothing. I started shedding like my my body. We started leaning out a ton so I could start wearing that stuff. And then I just went all in. Look at how ugly that fucking shoe is. You were killing them. Then I things. think those are. I think those hit, dude. Bro, <laughs> you the fuck? Would great. you I stop? Those. I would. I swear bro, to God, bro, bro. Those those were the shoes that I wear in kickball. <laughs> Murder the ball. Yeah, no question. Heavy look at the size of that shoe. toe. <laughs> that thing's a wide Murder toe shoe. Ball, bro. You're hitting Ugh. all the things on that. Yeah, you Gross. kill it now. It's like, dude, I'll tell you what. The Titans, I would say, are probably got to be like the, the most fashionable team in the NFL. This year, I feel like everyone, I do think this year when the boys are traveling, everyone's going to be competing. Everyone's going to be competing. Might be. I think you got oh, Dehan, you got Julio, you got, you got AJ, up. you got Roger. Are you about to get in the mix? Whew. I mean, I, I feel like uh, I'm, oh, not, yeah. I'm not into fashion. <laughs> Taylor, oh, the boy. <laughs> hey, look at the boy. Hey, look at him. <laughs> look at him. Hey, Taylor, Taylor went ahead and he was like, perfect caption. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> he's, on, he's on there somewhere, man. Ice water for a person and a shirt. Jeez, man. We're, oh, no, you're, you should be at the top. But I don't understand. Yeah, it's probably sitting there. Because I liked it, though. That's you a big thing too. You definitely, you definitely, you definitely commented. Anytime on my teammates post anything, I like it no matter what, and yeah. I try to throw a comment there every single time. If, it's crazy, man. You should just want to wear a person. Yeah. Okay, big. As far as like the fashion thing goes, you say throwing stuff in the mix. I'm not into. I'm not in the fashion because like, from the sense that fashion, I think by definition is forward, right? Like it's like what's coming up next. What's the next thing? I just like what I like. Yeah, you know yeah, I'm but saying? I'm saying like putting money into like looking nice. Yeah, I'll, like you at the CMAs, what, was CMA, CMTs. Oh yeah, them CMAs. Thing. Yeah, yeah, CMT awards. CMT awards. What were you wearing then? Oh, oh you didn't hey. see the boy? I was wearing some floral pants. I had, I had some shit going nice. on now. Nice, nice. I yeah. like that. What was out there? Like to me, that's what I'm saying. I told like, you, I like the Miami fashion. shit. The Miami fit. The Miami fits hard. The yeah, Miami fit was hard. Man. I don't even know if I posted it. I don't think I did. You got to wear your hug in the your hug in the wall. Oh, yeah. Go to the go hug up. in the wall. Go up, right there. Boom. <laughs> Hell yes. Hell oh yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God, I am one sexy motherfucker, dude. It is crazy. Three ten never looks so good. <laughs> yeah, she goes, okay. Like, hey, I go in there. She goes, all right. Let's just get a couple photos. Of you standing? And I just, I was like, nope. And I just right. started doing whatever. Yeah. You like, know? nope. You're not gonna make me feel awkward just standing still. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. fashion stuff cool. That was pretty nice. Thanks, man. Roger didn't like it. I did like no, those it. Those are nice. Hey, that's a good like start. That's yeah. a good start. Nah, bro. That's cute. Nah, bro. That's a good I'm effort right that there. White jacket, big time. Nah, I and appreciate then the floral that. Pants, yeah, really tight. That's the together. fucking energy I'm looking for. Now listen to this. Okay, though. listen to this. Go though. ahead. You kind of reminded me of Post Malone a little bit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, the shades. Started. The shades. Yeah. A little bit like your hair. What are you doing? Singing Post Malone. White Iverson. All right. Yeah. You like a white Iverson, huh? Yeah. Is he always wear these shoes? What's that? These shoes. You wear these shoes all the time? Or just on the bus? The Monarchs? Uh, I wear yeah. them all the time. I mean, look at them. They look like I put some miles on them. I mean, that's like gym teacher. Like... You, you gotta change that. You gotta change hey, that for sure. You know what's happening? Why do I gotta change that? I don't know. Roger, that Popeye shit is fucking hard. I would wear some nice ass Jordan ones with that, that shit. That, oh, it does have texture to it. Yeah, that's okay. nice. Hey, you know what these mean? These mean Will's trying to have a baby. All right. Oh, somewhere down the road. Okay. Charles gonna have that kid, and I, hey, you got those on? I'm um, hell of a dad. Hey man, law of hell attraction. Of I'm trying to put it in the universe. Yeah, get the them bedroom. things out. Walk there. around with the uh, Air Monarchs. Run got the. I usually got the dad. The dad hat on. Beautiful. You can yeah. buy you can buy a run left hat Hang at the on merch though. store. Why, if you why are you coming a little sideways at the monarchs? I don't like the monarchs. Those are trash ass shoes. I hate them because too. Because they remind but me they remind me. I understand me what you're trying the, to do. The Buddy Riddells. I could see that. Yeah. But you also said you like the which Buddy was, Riddells. Which was Yeah, you know, I mean I would just wear the, the, could be PTSD the Buddy Riddells. For me. So, yeah. Could be something we should unpack later. Yeah. With what's going on with you and those Maybe shoes. We should talk about it. Maybe. Are you talking about something oh, that's with me? Wait, what what didn't I see a tat a tattoo? Oh, no, I don't have any tattoos. Not yet. I don't have any tattoos. I'm going to get Will drunk one night, have him pass out, have Joey <laughs> walk in the have... back door, and 
put a bust with just the tattoo. Just tap me while I'm sleeping. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. Jack, you were supposed to get tattooed by Joey, weren't you? I just haven't thought anything I want on my body. Did you get tattooed by Joey or not? What happened? Your hey, give 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 Jack shit. the mic. I want to hear this. Maybe, possibly. Then, then then you just start coming with ideas like crazy. Yeah. As soon as you have your kids, it's like fuck. Yes. I gotta put them somewhere. God damn it, Jack. <laughs> Jack, did you get tattooed by Joey or no? No, I didn't. What happened? I thought you guys had a whole plan and everything. He's he's a busy man recently. He's been getting hit up by everybody. Yeah. Joey needs to move down to Nashville, dude. That's Might as well. It's a spot to be. Yeah, he's tattooing everybody. Yeah. He's the Rabel's kids. He does a lot of dudes on the team. Braves. Get them Braves. Up. Both his kids have you sleeves get, now. Did you see Bro. the uh did you Hunter. see the Tom Brady thing that came out on? Hilarious. Oh, my oh God. so funny. Dude. Hilarious. I sent that there's like a leadership council yeah, and I was like, dude. why is this man getting you like that? Dog. Dude. Was dragging him. Dragging him through the mud. I think Vrabel had another comment to him though. Like they went back and forth on each other because yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to see another uh defense carry Brady to. Oh, oh, you want hey, you want to know how well that went? They brought us up for practice, joint practice for uh Tampa Bay. And Vrabel's like, you know, talking, and he says that line. No one on the other team laughed. No, nah, it was dead silence. Some of the other, some of the other offensive <laughs> Which is, like, a, it's a good joke. Some of the yeah, other but the audience, jokes. they're like, man, yeah. fuck this guy, man. Right, 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 right. Tom they're Brady. ready to go. They've already had the coaching, the speeches, like they're coming yeah, in here. No fighting, no yeah, this, yeah, no yeah. that. This is business. Yeah, but that, that one, that one fell hey, real short. Hey, what I do want to say, though, is Vrabe, like, when we'll talk, he'll always say, like, hey, Will, like, stop tagging other people to get to get yourself clout and stuff like that. Yeah. And I wanted to say something here because he's like, Jack Brady talking with his favorite former Patriot also pictured Tom Brady. Like, yeah. what kind of clout grab is that? That's clout grab. Also pictured Tom Brady. Vrabes loves the social media. Oh, he does. That's, yeah. that's known. That is known. Yeah, it's a huge known thing. And the thing that's really chapping Vrabes' ass right now is he can't say shit. And we can just keep talking because you know, right? When you go at Raves a little bit, he comes at you hard too. Yeah, it's a, you or get, he deflects hard. Yeah, like he's on cameo now, and I chirped him the other day for being on cameo. Yeah, and he said something like uh, fifteen thousand dollars raised for kids. And I'm like, well, you kind of put me in a position there. Yeah, I, yeah, I, like, okay, I, I, I just want to joke with you. <laughs> it's like, okay, Ray. I'm not trying to. Like, you know, that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to chirp you. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. you know, I'm just trying to chirp you. Now you're bringing kids into this thing. There he is. I want to hear it. Oh, no. Yeah, have you not heard this? Yeah, I've heard it. I, I, heard it. I can go like TikTok or Cameo. I made the adult decision. You guys ever feel like you're embarrassed for somebody? Oh, is that this? Yeah, is that I, can't, I can't listen to it because I just like, I get, wait, get all nervous. Shy. Dak Thanks, guys. Return. What's, on, what's going on in our heads right now? Everybody, this is Mike Vrabel. I hear, I hear something else. 21 NFL season. Everybody else, for the most part, gets gold. A lot of tabs open. I was uh, thinking about hanging out on social media. Uh, came down to TikTok or Cameo. So I made the adult decision and went with Cameo. Come hang out with me and let me know if I can send somebody you know oh. or you a special shout out. Thanks, guys. Man, I, I you, you know he hated that video too. Like, yeah, oh, dude, it's like, like, like I know I'm gonna. Get I really gotta do this. Jen's just like, hey, do one more. Because in an article too, he had an article come out and he says he does he he cooks dinner on Tuesdays. They call it TikTok Tuesdays. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. He like he looks at a recipe on TikTok Tuesdays and that's what he makes. Like. He follows some, he's oh, he TikTok. cooks it up? He's on TikTok. Well, I think Vrabel has all the social medias. He just doesn't post. He's a ghost follower. Yeah. Like he just goes and checks tabs. Because I'll tweet he something. He stays in the weeds. I'll tweet something that he, he may or may not like, and he'll send us in a group chat whatever whatever said thing is. Oh, 100%. And I'd be like, you know, Jen did it or Stretch did it, but we know it was Vrabes. Yeah. We know it was Vrabes. Yeah. I love the boy. Guy's all right I by me. I caught the follow from him. Did you really? Yeah. I, I don't even think he follows him. me. Really? Him and Dale Earnhardt Jr., who. Never followed after I called him out. Really? Yeah. That's Dale. Uh, maybe I'll put in a word for you. No, nah, don't do it. <laughs> you don't think that Carter like kind of pushes him into some of this? I don't know. Maybe Carter pushes some stuff. There's one time it was after. Oh, the, he follows me. It was after we, we won in uh, Indy. After we went to Indianapolis, and uh, Carter wanted. He's like, "Hey, we just bought merch for Black Friday. Send us a video and make it about like Vrabel, make it about Coach Braves." <laughs> And this was right after the indie game. And I had that that first drive, that first series. Yeah. My trip on old boy, I messed up a couple of plays. Yeah. And so me, I'm kind of in my head like, hey, Carter, you're putting me in a weird spot. He's like, just do it. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> Carter said that? He yeah. said something like hey, that. He Carter's an animal bro. now. He was aggressive. I love the kid. He's, oh, he he's looks, got, he looks insane. He's now. got that, that bleach blonde mullet going yes, on right now, yeah. the yes. full sleeve. Yeah. The I'm messing with Carter now. I'm messing with Carter. He's out there playing the baseball. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, no. What's it like? What's it like? Yeah, tell he, some stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just have him put his dad in the dirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. We got any more ads? Are we? Uh... Hey, did, was that video running while we were talking about Ray? Okay, good. Okay, cool. Love that. Love that. Do we have any other stuff? Hey, 
We need to do a segment, dude. About? We need to think of a segment, whether or not we do a segment today. About like something. Something that we do no matter what. Whether it's with the guests, whether it's without. Like how uh, part of my take has Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. And they do Mount Rushmore. What was their last one? What was their most recent one? Uh, things that are like cool to do. <laughs> yeah, things that are cool. Yeah, Silver having a guy. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> those are cool things. Chris Long had one where they do lists, or they do like Dog Walk has their dress, their little snake dress that they do. Green Light Pot with Chris Long, like they do lists to where it's like the, their most recent was like favorite college stadiums. Mm. Like we could do like you know Mount Bustmore of September, September vibes, like what we like about September, mm -hmm. Spooktober, favorite Halloween candy. Yeah, Mount Bustmore of Halloween movies. Favorite mm -hmm. video games. Mount Bustmore of video games. Yeah. Okay. Who's I'm down to do all this. Driver. Okay, yeah. You know? Chris Farley oh, and Billy Madison. That'd be my, my favorite God. bus driver. Good, great. No. Good, great, wonderful. No yelling on the bus. That's right. That's right. Turn this Good, damn great, bus. wonderful, grand. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good ass movie. Yeah, that was loud right there. I saw yeah. Bro, I love it though. Yeah, I I'm down to think of something like that. Also, hey, listen, I don't know if that part, is that part going to get cut out? Probably, yeah. Let's cut that part out. What part? The part of you just... Doing a brainstorm on the middle of a pod. Oh no, I think we keep. The oh, you want to keep there. that? So if, you know, people might be like, "Yeah, yeah you guys should fucking do that." Uh, another thing we do need to talk about is the bus stop is up and rolling. Let's let's crazy. let's give a clap for that. That's pretty cool. We uh, the boys are putting a lot of work, not just Will and I, but all the boys in the back that are behind the cameras doing everything. They have done so much to make this thing a true, real production. Give it up for the boys in the back. Just give it up for the boys in the back. Outstanding speech, work. Speech. Speech. <laughs> So the bus stop, listen, we have episodes coming out. We're going to do it uh, by seasons. The most recent one that just came out was Jelly Roll. Yeah. And it's 13 minutes of, of epicness. I literally, I played it in my car and got goosebumps. That man is extremely talented. His uh, his music, is he's got so much passion behind his music. But I think you guys, uh, all those tier ones, tier twos, tier threes, don't be afraid to press that follow button on the bus stop. All right. It has his own Instagram. It's rolling. Bus stop WTB. Bus stop WTB. Let's get this thing lit up. Let's get that thing moving because it's it's a really cool idea and I think it's really going in the right direction right now. Yeah. It's uh you can find it on YouTube, Bus Stop Sessions. Uh basically, we made a baby with Music City. We really did. We took our we took our brand. We're like, hey, we are in Music City. It we was were consensual. In the music capital of the world. Yeah. We had consensual sex. Foreplay. And we made bus stop sessions. It was beautiful. Who do we have next week? Gold Park. Well, by the time you guys hear this, it'll already be out. So this past week, the most recent one is Gold Park. Gold Park. But like, view that, leave comments. Another thing too. How many too, stops? What's that? How many stops you going to have? We have eight. Nine. There's nine. Nine stops. Nine, nine stops. stop sessions. Oh, yep. Yeah, in the first season. That's so sick. things are moving in the right direction. Another thing to think about too is the season's here. All right. Spooktober is right around the corner. That merch store needs to get lit up. Right here in we front got of us. Cool ideas going. You got the run left hats there. You need it. You need these hats. All right. Support the boys. Be with the boys. What better opportunity to pub this than having the big back himself, red velvet, big smooth, and the stallion on the bus enjoying this beautiful hat. Run left. It's a passion. It's a lifestyle. Get with it or get the fuck out. Also, there's a lot of other things you can have. We got the pocket, the bus and pocket tees that always hit. We have a lot of uh, Spooktober things coming out. It's Ooh. very exciting. Will, show spooky, me a couple spooky. of ideas. Uh, our boy Ryan at Hang 10. A little bit of a genius up top in the old noggin. Yep. He's got a lot of cool shit going on. So uh, check out Hang 10 as well. No free shout outs. We'll send you guys an invoice. But make sure to go to Barstool slash store, correct? Store.barstoolsports.com. Jesus. Just put a link up in this thing. So <laughs> hey, just can put we a link a up. Fucking link? Just send a link, dude. Just put the link right here. Where my hands are, put the link right there. Click on this and get it. Uh, go get, some, get you some merch. And you guys are home against Arizona, right? We're home against Arizona, then away oh at Seattle. God. All right. And then, so also, hey, tailgate. We're going to the tailgate watch party. We're going to be at Acme. Bing, bang, bang, boom. Nice. Come, uh, come party. Have a few drinks, whether it's water or, you know, some. Whatever. Some tasty Two drinks. Before. Two hours before kickoff. Kickoff is what? Noon? Yep. So we'll be there at 10 a.m. Oh, some morning we'll drinking. We'll be on Broadway. I like we'll that. We'll be hanging out, tailgating, cheering for the boys. The side, boys no, side note, uh, day drinking is the best kind of drinking. You get to bed early. Your next day is not too fucked up. You start early and end Mount early. Mount Busmore of day drinking. It is. No. Oh. no. <laughs> uh, said, it is a Mount Busmore yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's no, just yeah, Mount yeah. Busmore day drinking. Then we just say what we think. Like, we yeah. go in a row. Yeah. Like a draft. Yeah. Oh, wow. 100%. Yeah, I'm with that. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, shout out to Bud Light personally. Just uh, absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much for, <laughs> for sponsoring your boy. Uh, Bud Lights. I mean, there's oh, a reason why they call Bud Lights getting a free shout out right now? No, I'm. I'm. That's they great. no. They, they paid me. 
They paid me. To shout out on Bustin' with the Boys? No, I own 50% of this company. <laughs> so I'll 50% let them know, Budweiser know, Budweiser, Anheuser Bush, Bud Light specifically. Thank you so much, Big Hugsen. What's up? That was one cool. That was we need a Bud Light fridge for the bus. Louis in St. Louis. Dude, and a pallet of Bud Lights yeah, per bro. Jack, dude. Bro. Jack said, tell him to send a pallet. So. Yeah. Bro, he gave us all the shit before we come out, bro. It was amazing. That's beautiful, boys. Yeah. Great, Great pod. pod. Yeah, man. Great Subscribe. pod. Great five stars. Just still going. This is outstanding. It's another side note. Subscribe. Keep leaving comments. If yeah. you're still watching, the, we're in the post show. Right also, now. We're, hey, what's the this comment the thing? <laughs> yeah, this is the, the credits. The credits yeah, are rolling. This is the post show. Right uh, now. The post show. Uh, the, no, the post show. The YouTube comments. Like you said, there's a, a chat and there's a thing you can actually comment. Yes. And you want to get in the actual comments. Mm. How does one do that? Because you were trying to explain it to me, but you know your boy and the internets. So if you're on, if well. you're on your internets. phone <laughs> and you're in the live chat, like chatting with the boys, right? Yeah. You exit out. Okay. And then there's that little comment logo. Yeah. You hit the comment logo. Sure. They all come up and then you hit type comment. That's leaving a real comment. Then if you hit live chat, then you're back in the live chat. So that's the difference. between. So the we want more comments and we want live chats. Correct. Okay. So tell them, don't look at me. Yeah. I it, listen guys. I, I, I think you guys know. I think you guys know. Oh, they know? I think those guys know. Damn, but if you bro. don't, you exit right now because we're all chatting. We're still we're sitting here chatting. It's the post show. Right. Just You're on the, the post act. show. Yeah, You're the, the bus and post show, baby. I will say this shit. Comments it's, worth it, the, it's worth the hype. This, this whole thing. Bus with the boys? Yes. Oh, you enjoyed your time here. Absolutely. Wow. One time, Go ahead. 100%. You have the floor now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well yeah, post anyway, show. Anyway, on the, on the post show, I uh, just wanted to say <laughs> that this is worth the hype. Um, I've already liked and subscribed. You should do the same. Yep. If you want to be anything like the bag, if you want bigger muscles, whatever you want, you know, you should probably like ding, 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 self suck. And we're on track. No, I love it. Definitely, definitely enjoy the show. Man, good luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And the yeah, bag will be team, back. So. Well, no, he's talking about us and our busting adventures. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and that's why you should buy a run left hat. Yes. Could you yeah. imagine seeing a sea of just like run fucking left? Dude. Bro, visual you know, cues. Yeah, visual. Speaking of visual cues, you both should have been wearing run left hats. Like you wore your LA hat here, Taylor. Well, they're all up there. It's just, you know, kind of the, the uh, look I was boy, going for was kind of. Yeah, that crazy hair going yeah. on right now. Like you want visual cues. We we all should have been sitting here wearing our run left hats. Ah, That'd have been sick. Hey, side note. Because you do. Okay. Hey, sorry, because Roger did all year last year. Yeah. You're wearing your run left hat all year. Yeah. I love, so, I love that fucking hat, man. That's, a, that's maybe the best hat we have. That and the dad hat. I love the dad hat. But those busting hats that we got. More. That hat rips, dude. And there's we're more on the colors, street. There's a rumor mill. There's a rumor mill going on right now that there's going to be a couple more little Bettys coming out right now. A couple Ooh. flutterers, dude. It's going to be a nice little deal. Colors? Yeah. Them bus bunnies. Yeah, them bus bunnies. <laughs> All six of them. After the bunnies, All six man. of them things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Fucking rights, boys. Good work. All right. What else in the post show? If you're listening on the audio right now, yeah. just... Uh, subscribe like unsubscribe and then resubscribe again because if you're still listening now right. like you're for sure a fucking tier one so maybe need, well maybe tier two maybe you're like right, right, etching right. into you're, a tier yeah tier. you're curious you're definitely you're not curious. a tier like, I want to be in with yeah. what these guys got because yeah. everybody seems to have a lot of fun when they're around them unsubscribe resubscribe again because that's how you climb that's how you climb the charts another thing about a tier one move if we really didn't talk about is some some cat Got himself a bustin' with the boys tattoo. Now I'm not saying everybody has to do that, but it per sure as shit puts you in a nice little spot with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the boys. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty and then, sick. I that was sick, that? right? Yeah, yeah, that was fucking sick. Yeah, actually, it was a with dope the tattoo. Bee in the horns. Yeah, no, he 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 hit it. He hit yeah, that thing. He hit it. There it is. I like that little drippy. What's his name? Drippiness too. Justin Williams. Justin Shout Williams. Out Justin Williams. Shout out that tier one cat dude. Everybody claims. Everyone I meet who follows us in the boys claims to be a tier one dude. Yeah. I know Justin Williams is. <laughs> you yeah. got that you know quad tat. For sure. That quad tat. That low quad tat. So if he goes to bare bottom and gets the 5.5 or the 7 inch seams, yeah. you know that thing's going to be showing. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a bit of a deal. Yeah. And that's two ad reads for that's a uh, great idea. Uh, bare bottom clothing. B E A R, like the like the animal clothing.com. Use promo code Buster. Could you imagine if we stop, like, we just shut down, like, next week and he's just got his tattoo? <laughs> Yeah, we just decided to end it. Yeah. And he's like, Ma, <laughs> Daddy, what is that? Oh, well, I don't want to talk about it. Like, he just, we just gave up on him. Yeah, shout out Williams, dude. That's a nice little deal. The bus stop is ripping. Um, also, go back to that one more time. You guys need to fucking get on the bus stop, dude. We're if you haven't the- followed, if you haven't followed that little piece yet, maybe pause us. <laughs> And then come back and do the thing. So the maybe you didn't have putting, to pause it. We're putting on Patreon. So if you want to, if you're yeah. real tier one, 
for fifty dollars a month, just start fucking. Yeah, yeah. Oh my we're gonna God. start. We're maybe make an app now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Also, the boys got an arcade game, uh, and we play Galaga a shitload. I don't want to say who has the high score, but it's not Will, and it's two, the person the Will has left is the person with the high score by a lot. Of it, nothing. Con- there was controversy. Way to go around. Hey, so Will, had, around. Will had a chance. There was controversy today. JP, you paid to be behind the mic. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> He's protecting you. He's protecting your ass. Behind the camera. Behind the camera. I'm sticking up for you. Oh, what controversy? The when you ha- you were fighting towards a high score with a He's lot of time. fucking left. right. That's a good point, JP. That's a good <laughs> point. <laughs> nah, hey, you know wow. what? Let's go, Taylor. Keep <laughs> running that yeah, score. Yeah, fuck that shit, dude. That score fuck up. Will, dude. I didn't mean that, baby. I'm so sorry. No, I, I just, love your finger. Just, I love his finger paintings. Oh, my God. Uh, listen, what else is going on? What else is going on in the post show? That's when, it, man. There's no, hold on. It's Wednesday, right? When this thing comes out. Yeah. Right now let's double Wednesday. down. Let's double down and get some fans at, the, at this Titan game. Let's sell this bitch out. Please. Because even against Chicago, I know it's just a preseason game, but there's a lot of Chicago fans there. Oh, yeah. It was kind of loud. Yeah. Honestly, a little bit of bullshit. We should I take that a little more personal if you're a fan of the Tennessee Titans. Up. Our fans are saving up. You think so? To the game. It's like juice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, fucking getting like that thing rises. going? Yeah. I don't know, man. I sure as shit hope that thing is a packed fucking house. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome. It's going be good. Energy's I feel like the awesome. vibe around Nashville is different now. Garrett, maybe he can attest to yeah, it. Yeah, Garrett, what do you think about the vibe? He's more boots on the ground. What do you think, Garrett? I think, I think we're ready. Garrett, do you have a girlfriend now? No. Okay, good, because I'm going to comment on this. Bro, Garrett's got game. He does. After seeing what, what like all that he's stuff, little, hey, that he's, little things, yeah. that little, I, oh, I'm just wow. saying. I just seems like agent. I don't know he's out there. I don't know if he's out there spinning them wheels, but I know that when he walks down the street, there's kinks, dude. He's a Chevrolet of a man. Yeah, mm. he's, you know what I'm saying. He's probably lasts a long time due to those Roman wipes. Yeah, those Roman things help yeah. out, don't they? Yeah, those Roman wipes they do help. You having issues? No, he's you don't got, have issues with the bedroom. Fun. Oh, you just do? Is it like a numbing cream? Like what goes on that thing? It's a wipe. Yeah, it's a wipe. Oh, there's got to be some lidocaine or some shit on there. Yeah, you wipe, it's lidocaine. You wipe it on your piece and you last longer. Garrett was telling me about it because he's got some ED. But how do you how do you get ED? How does lidocaine help with ED? Well, he also takes a pill that gets you that gets you going. Yeah. Jesus. The blue pill. Like Extends? Yeah. You remember Extends? No, nah, man, you don't need that shit. I, no. Whoa. Go, go grapefruit juice, man. What? Grapefruit juice. Like the like the thing? Put it in the microwave and get after nah, it? Nah, nah. <laughs> grapefruit juice. Drink it. <laughs> after you get after if you, it? If you... Hang on, hang on. What's Grape- the goal of grapefruit juice? Gra- grapefruit, grapefruit juice is going to get you there. Hey, you see the way he put his forearm down there? there? What about staying there? I'm grapefruit juice is going to fucking get you there. Stay dude. in there? Yeah. Oh, there's just yeah, little powder. Like there's a little. There's a little power. It's a little bit of uh, shit. This doesn't sound NSF certified to me. It's pretty. It's pretty. Grapefruit juice it's pretty sounds certified. pretty. It's a bunch oh, of I thought herbs. you just said a powder. It's I thought you said something about a powder. Yeah, it's a bunch of. Oh herbs yeah, yeah maybe you a bunch of herbs and shit. Yeah, that's how they get you. Yeah. So I got got herbs. See, my and shit. problem's not getting there. My problem's like la- the lasting. Well, that's well. I mean, first of all, there's 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 like brain spot. Oh fuck! There's thinking techniques. Grapefruit, uh, grapefruit, and other citrus fruits are full of antioxidants, vitamin C, and folic acid. All support sexual reproduction among men. Well, I don't know if necessarily you're trying to have a kid right now, so maybe don't do the <laughs> back. Maybe don't do the do the grapefruit. I think you're good show. with the wipes. I like the post show. I think you're good with the wipes. Talking the Talking Dead. I'm sure that he uses covers, man. He doesn't look like a quick raw Madrid type of dude. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I Garrett's got that strong beard and the messy hair right now. I could definitely see him going no blanket. Oh, he might go no blanket, <laughs> but you, you know he's wearing those ankle socks. Oh, he's definitely no blanket. <laughs> he's got the ankle socks. He got them on. just over the bone socks. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got yeah, them yeah. just over them things. I don't know, man. Them them things out there. You there's like a little study I saw. Uh, ASU like one in three. Have some sort of STD out at ASU. Out at ASU, that's not Alabama State. I'm talking about. I'm talking about that West Coast Arizona State. That Arizona State. But that was like when I was in high school. I feel like that's low for Arizona State. You think so? One in three. Thirty-three point three 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 percent. Yeah, I'm thinking Arizona State's got to be pushing like a 60, 70 percent. Oh, big time STD rate. You think so? I don't know. Think about it. That's terrifying. Arizona is as a Arizona. Is... They call it the dirty desert for a reason, man. Right. That's the a little dirty, place now. Dirty desert. That's a little place now. Yeah. Shout out Arizona for being one of the coolest states. You know. Yeah. What else uh, we got? One of the hottest states too. Bro. He said, "What else we got? <laughs> what else we got? Well, How common are STDs pro- in Arizona? We got fifty-four thousand. It's not that very many. Hey, over were reported. Oh yeah, some dudes just using that yeah. penicillin shot. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, jeez. Like if, if you had an STD, you think you would report it? I don't think I'd report it to the internet. Right. But I would. I, I but if I started seeing bumps and stuff, I would definitely. I've never had a scare. 
But I've always thought about having a scare and how scary that would be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of shit that keeps yeah, you up at night. I've always thought about having a scare. Yeah, like oh, no, I haven't. Th- I thought about the what ifs of a scare. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <sighs> Bring a whole new meaning to getting your piss hot. No question. Mm. What you need to do, September 12th, fans. Let's pack that thing in. But also, make sure you go to the bus with the boys' tailgate. That thing looked fire. I had a little FOMO when I was at that third preseason game. <laughs> Legit was like, man, can we bust out of here a little early? Right. You know, get them 12 plays and then boogie over there to Acme. Have a little fun. Have a little fun. Watch a little bus Not stop sessions. Not that kind of fun. Watch some bus stop sessions. I'm married. What's that? Watch some bus stop sessions. Yeah, watch some bus stop sessions. Sessions? Sessions? Bus stop sessions. Sessions. See, see, see what happens? All right. Yeah. You start the words sounding like sounds. Yes. Yes. That's a bit of a deal sometimes yes. when it sounds like a sound. Yes, it is. Sound. Oh, Ted, dude, you that's think this I got is that a from. good pop of Raj? Yeah. This is the post show, so we can talk freely. Yeah, what'd you think of Raj? Great. Alex, Great. Well, give me some uh, criticism of Raj. Or criticism? criticism of us, not Raj. If anything, I'm sitting here thinking he didn't talk enough. Yeah, I thought he didn't talk enough. Uh, yeah, I think we could have him back and have him talk a little bit more. Yeah, I think so. I did like sure. his but ad. You guys, we're back together for the first time in a while, so it was like a <coughs> special thing for you guys too. Oh, like, the fucker! Yeah, I didn't like his ad read. Double down. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he did it too good. Taylor yeah. Taylor's not hearing the part where we need to stop talking so much. He's just thinking like, yeah, Raj can do better. Yeah, why point at yourself when you can point at others? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all good, dude. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he, he, like he, he, he knows, he knows can, I love can... to talk too. Yeah, Raj like, does like, love to I'll talk. I'll take over. He was a chill boy. If I don't, if I don't chill, if I, yeah. if I don't chill, I'll, I'll start taking But you're taking supposed to take over on something like this. The yeah. problem is, people get in, they see the lights, they actually sit down and feel it. And yeah. I think you were a little starstruck too. I think oh, you were starstruck. So you kind of sit there. The guy that was on. The guy that was on. Two reality TV shows. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, low key. We're at OTAs like two years ago over Zoom. And uh, we did like this. Sully put up this like, who do you think would. Hey, he was about to talk. And we just start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Raj. No, no go ahead. Two, I want to hear the story. Uh, I hear the story yeah. now. So uh, Sully put up this thing. It's like, who do you think would have their own reality TV show? And it was like, so and so, Roger, Taylor, blah, blah. And uh, everyone voted for Taylor. And Roger, Roger over the mic, over, Roger over the mic goes, it's crazy because I bet on two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was what I don't know. our virtual sessions are pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah you, so what, what shows were you on? Uh, I was on Hollywood and football. And That's a real course, show? Yeah. How many seasons? It was only one because yeah. everybody that was with that me. that shit was trash. <laughs> nah. That shit nah. had to be trash. Nah. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. So everybody got cut. The whole cast, except for me, got cut the very next year. Oh. That's when McVay came in. Hollywood and football. So it would have just been Hollywood Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Raj <laughs> takes Hollywood. would have liked that, though, been huh? nobody. Hey, nah, that boy would have loved that shit. Nah, would, you do, would you do a reality TV nah, show I now? Got, I got a fucking ultimatum. Uh, ultimatum. It was either... It was ultimato. Either, it was ultimato. Ultimato. Ultim, ultim. Start sounding like sounds. Start sounding like sounds again. No, but seriously, man. I was, I, it was like either... Uh, it was either... Uh, Asia does wags, uh-huh. or I had to do Hollywood and football, and I'm like, you're definitely not fucking doing wags. Yeah, wags seems shit, like a little bit shit, of a dirty too deal. Messy. Yeah. yeah. After you hear about wags with our, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah it's, it, no, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Like, like you stay away from that. Shit. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if I would like Taylor referring to herself as a wag. No, unless wag. It's what does wag joke. mean? Wife, Wife and, girlfriend and girlfriend of star, sports? star st- sports. Yeah. Oh. And the Wags show was the one that made all that shit so popular, but it just makes you look like more of an ass. And most of the people that end up on that show end up splitting, cut. Yep, they end up. They end oh, up breaking up. up. Yeah. Are they? Would you do a reality show now? If somebody approached you and was like, "Hey, Raj, we want to do a reality show based around you." Um, yes, I he would do it. Right it. Now. Look at the way he dresses. He for sure could do it. One hundred percent for sure. I couldn't, I couldn't do it right now. That time, the 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 amount of demand on time was just outrageous. Really. Yes, it was outrageous. I thought I was, you was just like, I was get JP trip. with the camera and follow me around a, for a little bit. I was bit. on a trip in Vegas and they were like, hey, do you mind flying back early so that you could do a scene? Bro, I flew back, did a scene, and then went back. That's, That's when PJ. you know the man goes hard, bro. Hey, keep you it need on. Revitalite. Dude, I don't need a Revitalite black label. Oh my God. Got you got gotcha, that black? NSF certified, yeah. though. African American label. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Probably not, it's not very PC. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably not very PC, is it? <laughs> Come on. Let him see for who you really are. Huh? Let him see for who you really are. Me? Yep. Who am I? He's cultured as fuck. I'm racist. so fucking cultured. Ra- okay. <laughs> you just said I'm racist on a podcast. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and fucking elaborate on that, Whitey. Let's hear it. Whoa. Yeah, we'll dude. It easy. We're f- let's- you can't take it. Pommy, 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 Low daps, low daps only. Bro. What's up? You can't walk away from that. 
I was joking. Like that's a joke. That's a that's Need a to clear, hear that. that's Need a to clear hear that. joke. Need to hear that. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, last story. <laughs> last story until the next basically, story. Basically, yeah. basically, we, we Taylor loves going into the sauna because there are heat protein properties. Oh, Will knows all about the heat. Yeah, proteins. so you understand. So of course, you know this rookie is always in there because he's just trying to do the best he can. I like the kid. He's you know thicky too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he's yeah. probably in there to lose the yeah, pounds. Yeah, he's out yeah. there to lose weight. But man, he was in there, and I'm talking about he was sweating bullets, and we're all just sitting in there, and it's just me and him, and I and I'm just looking over. Looking at everybody, I looked at him, I said, damn, boy, you 99% cacao over there. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, <laughs> how, that's how they measure dark chocolate. You know oh what I'm saying? God. So I was like, damn, this boy dark as shit. He left about a minute later. <laughs> <laughs> he was that he walked out, dude. Like, you know, fuck anyway, it. he went to Michigan State, right? Yeah. Oh, he told me he wanted to come on the bus. <laughs> I was like, I said, tell me your best story right now. I love how people hey, you know like what he ask said? him and be like, tell me your best story right now. Right, well, so, no. well, how, well, how old is he? He's they, He wasn't yeah, around. Yeah, 21 or 22. So he wasn't around when the, when the whole Michigan State, uh, Michigan punt problem, or what, what was it? Oh, the punt thing? Maybe. Yeah. No, that was like six years ago. Yeah, it was like six years ago. So I don't think that, I don't think that he was even in there at the time. But that like, what, what story do you have? You know the punt? Oh, yeah. Remember, we met the center. He was at Vanderbilt. He was at Vanderbilt? He went to Michigan State? He transferred to Vanderbilt. The kid who messed up that snap. The long snapper. The, yeah, the long snapper who messed yeah. up Holy that. That kid was crap. getting death, death threats. Yeah. So that's why he left. I probably Fuck leave too. If someone's a friend in my life, I'd probably boogie. Yeah, man. I lost a game in, in Michigan, and the offense and defense called the ball at the same time they gave it to the defense. I will never forget that. Isn't that wild? That was just fucked Ty up. Ty goes the receiver, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there yeah, it is. Thing. This is look, look at the time on the clock. There's no time left. Just get the ball out. Like, just throw it. Throw it. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just yeah, got to like, throw, throw it. That is, that's game so gets bad, bro. Game he blouses. He got tackled. Did he oh diso- that God. dude uh, dislocated his hip. Were you there then? No. What? This is like my second Who year Who dislocated the their hip? The dude, this guy running the ball. He no. Dis- bro, uh, uh, allegedly. He dislocated his hip on this play? When he gets tackled, boom, they all, he, so his, see, he's hurt. Oh, yeah, he's trying to hold He's him. hurt, and they're all diving on him. And he, apparently, he was like screaming at the bottom of the pile. Like, end of the season. No. Our ball. Oh, and it's just people just piling on them. Talk about an organization that's got to be better. A couple dudes ran out of that pile like, hey, hey, we need help. I can't oh believe that God. shit. Yeah, he's hurt, hurt. He's down there. Look at everybody. Look, he's yeah, like, come stop. On, man, look, look, look. stop. Get the fuck off. He's hurt, hurt. Oh, my God. <laughs> they don't even know their boy's done. That'd so. be me. <laughs> no, I'm not even on the field. Just go run in the fucking stands. He's trying to get yeah, out. He's trying to get in the thing. Who is this fucking guy? Old ginger ass. Yeah, so anyway, that's the thing. I heard you talking about Nebraska on the last podcast via one of the clips. Actually, I saw your really rude statement on the uh, Instagram mm. that you said like, something about Nebraska's got to be better or something like that. I'd probably double down that with the uh, with Michigan just so we could... Like, I love Michigan. Yeah. but hey, Wasn't we, he talking about the 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 the, the, the damn... What was it? Oh, the Overalls? uniforms. It was the uniforms. Those were fake, Overalls, right? right? Oh, yeah, that was fake. Oh, so thank God, like, bro. Those are terrible. I was like, hold on, man. Extreme ownership and extreme accountability. I just feel like Nebraska might not have that right now. Mm. Yeah, that's tough. That's uh, yeah. some good journalism by Alex. <laughs> I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, our own media. A line own here, a line there. Got me. I would say, though, that, I mean, quote, reading that quote, I would say Michigan needs to do the same thing. Because there's dudes like, did they play last week? No, they're playing tomorrow. First game is tomorrow. Western Michigan, I think. Um, but I love, I love Michigan, but it's like, you're allowed to love something and also be critical of like wanting them to be better. Like when sure. I was, when I was at Michigan, we were, we went to, we were 11 and three one year. Other than that, it was not up to the Michigan standard of old. And so when I was there, we had to be better too. I'm not saying that these kids aren't, you know, like I did something great there. Like, no, like we were shit then and we got to be better now. So yeah. I'm with you, Indiana, you know, you, you know, <sighs> I mean, you lose hit five hundred to have dude. a celebration. But you, you guys Bro. are, you guys have been okay though, right? The last couple. Well, of years? they were filthy last year. We were filthy last filthy. year. But like, but like, our problem, our problem was always like, we we would go ahead. We we ended up playing thirteen my my sophomore year. But then like my senior year, we had fucking games. I mean, they were all coming down to the to the wire, and we still finished like terribly. But we had fucking refs like meetings mm-hmm. to try to question these refs on some of these calls. Like almost every week, mm. I couldn't even have meetings. So you know what that sounds like? Record. That sounds like not extreme ownership or accountability. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, what that you're sounds trying to like. Have meetings with the refs. Yeah, like let's not have a team meeting and see how we could have got better. Like, right. Let's bring these refs in and have four or five plays. It's crazy, man. 
It's crazy, man. <laughs> like he I'm not, dying I'm not on that sword. He yeah. dying I, on that sword. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, hey, not even dying it's on wild, story. right? It's factual. <laughs> That's it's just crazy. crazy. It's factual. My it's first, facts. my first Big Ten game was against Indiana, and there was a woman in the in the student section who was wearing hardly mm-hmm. anything, uh-huh. and it was very distracting. <laughs> it was very distracting the entire game. We won though. Like last second, it was like ninety points scored in that game. It was crazy. Because you guys took extreme accountability and extreme ownership. We won the game, so no. no the tradition is gone, man. What tradition? Tradition is gone. Uh, do you guys a, even have a tradition? Do you guys have a tradition? These no, are basketball talking, school. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about Michigan, Ohio State. Hard to hear. You remember? You remember? You remember how traditional everything used to be? Like you used to never hear about all these kids having all these damn scandals and shit. Mm. And there wasn't all these fucking problems. Also, the internet were, wasn't around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, true. Was, Think if the internet was around back then. Yeah. Oh, you hear about God. some crazy I'm shit. Like those dudes. I heard dudes back to, back in the day. They're like snorting coke and stuff before the game. Like, well, dudes are getting. Like that's not just back maybe in the day. The, maybe maybe I'm the sure 80s. other people did that yeah, at one point in their lives. The 80s. It felt like that leaked. leaked yeah, uh, leaky nose. About 2013, it probably leaked into. They used to put it in the the spray bottles. Quick toot toot. Yeah. Quick toot toot, and you're you're out there. You're laying out there. people out. Yeah, man. That's a bit of a deal now. I don't know if I could. Ha- I don't know if I could handle it. If the internet was out, like going like social media was going crazy when I was in college. Well, you kind of were. I don't know. I don't know. No, no he, there was no. What was your freshman year? Bro, Instagram didn't come out until my second year in the pros. Oh. So Twitter wasn't even a real thing. Been around Twitter just started while. when we got in, right? So Twitter started, yeah, right when we were like getting, 2008, 2009. 2009. Oh shit. So we were we were sophomores. Twitter. Retro so, freshmen. We were retro, we were retro freshmen. So what oh, I'm saying, yeah, so what I'm saying is this, bro, is like mentally, I'm sure there's some kids that are not accessing their full potential at all when they go to play in college with all the shit that's going on with social media. Maybe. Because it could be uh, detrimental to their mental? Yes. That big mental time. shit's been a big deal right now. Does, really has, has that ever affected you? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, it's, and it was, it's been, it's like more of like an anxiety thing than anything. And of course, like when I first came to the Titans, you were ragging on me, dude. I'm talking about hard. And you were a pro bowl, hard. right? Yes. Well, no, not pro bowl. I was all pro all the pro. year before. So I'm literally like, I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I'm like, nope, fuck it. I'm just going to stick to the shit. And then we started fucking rolling. And then um, I started getting some good feedback, people apologizing and shit. And, and then I got like somebody like coming at me for a play in, against Kansas City. And I'm like, we just fucking won. We just fucking beat the mm. best team in the NFL. Like, don't give me that shit. Yeah. And, bro, it was a nightmare after that. Fucking every article is like, oh, social media is finally getting to them. Finally? Motherfucker, you, y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea. And then we just literally just took off. And, frankly, it, it made the dick sucking at the end of the year a little less uh, enjoyable. Really? That that's what you really thought in the beginning. The uh, the Looking at social media is a tough deal. Can't look at it. Yeah. Can't look at it. It's it's terrible. It's a hard deal. It's terrible. One hundred percent. I've said my couple stories on here from back in my Washington days, but so I won't be redundant. Yeah. We are a very redundant podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We like to talk about our old stories. No question. And Sometimes this, we get like old men where you tell the same the story a few times. Yeah. Some kids listen to us when he said this one. Yeah. You know, but he still listens anyway. Right. All right. <clears throat> we beaten this dead horse. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we, we have. We have. Smacking the dead horse. Wait, 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 what was, what was now, did, now we have to know, if, does this go in the we archives or are we keeping this? I don't know, whatever. The, uh, <laughs> usually they'll listen and they'll be like, hey, we should take this out. And they'll be like, all right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. First thoughts, you think we're keeping it or what? The whole thing running it straight up. I don't think, I mean, I think there's. <laughs> what was your guys' thoughts back there listening the whole time? Are we done? Stuff? Are this off? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah, subscribe. Hey, so the post post show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're done. <laughs>